It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I tell you, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. She kind of looks like Tippy Storm And she danced like a little Egypt She works down the snake farm Snake farm, it just sounds nasty Snake farm, it pretty much is snake farm It's a reptile house, snake farm Got a keen sense of humor. She got a tattoo down her arm. It's of a python. They eating a little mouse wearing a sailor hat that says Snake Farm. Snake Farm. It just sounds nasty. Snake Farm. It pretty much is Snake Farm. It's a reptile house. Snake Farm. Ramona, how come she works there? She says, well, it's got its charm. There's nothing to do in the winter now than some kid gets bit the snake farm. Snake farm, it just sounds nasty. Snake farm, it pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house, snake farm. I forgot to mention something. This is a sing-along. Really. Here goes Snake Farm. It just sounds nasty. Snake Farm. Pretty much is Snake Farm. It's a reptile house. Snake Farm. <laughs> it ain't exactly kumbaya, but being a music bug, it ought to be perfect. Help me now, be on TV. Said Snake Farm, just sound nasty. Snake Farm, pretty much is. Snake Farm, it's a reptile house. Snake Farm. Getting into it now. Well, Ramona likes malt liquor and a band from Wales that's called the Alarm. She said she cried when they broke up. She still plays the records at the Snake Farm. Snake Farm, it just sounds nasty. Snake Farm, pretty much is Snake Farm. It's a reptile house, Snake Farm. Sometimes Ramona calls me up and says, come on down here, it's getting warm. And she runs everybody off and we, you know, it's a snake farm. Good snake God, farm. man. It just sounds nasty. Snake farm. It pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house. Snake farm. Help me now. I said snake farm. It just sounds nasty. Snake farm. It pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house. Snake farm. Unlock my phone and watch the world die They cry into God while they run for their lives Blood in the streets, bombs in the sky Goodbye, I hope you had dreams come true I hope they see in their crosshairs what I see in you And I hope and I pray cause it's all I can do I don't understand who is good or bad They don't care as long as you got all your sense We need something fast, we need something bad More than guns and tanks, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? I 
turn on the news and watch the world fight. Thousands of men making widows of wives. I'll be home soon, walked off in the night. Goodbye, I will remember you. I know it's shooter be shot in their men just like you, but I hope and I pray, cause that's all I can do. Understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got all your sense. We need something fast. We need something back. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Soon you won't need a TV or an iPhone to see because you will look out the window and boom. I don't understand who is good or bad. They don't care as long as you got all your sense. We need something fast. We need something bad. More than guns and tanks. Where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Oh, where is Superman? Good morning, welcome to Cluster F. DJ Gary, just subscribe. Appreciate it, DJ Gary. Woo! Be bumpy and breast of idle land, indeed. Vampire Jeremy looking for the hang last night. It's canceled uh, due to illness. Mm-hmm. Not, not your illness. Not, no, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Spice said he's had something bad and he didn't want to give it to me, and I'm like, I don't want to get it. <laughs> I don't want to be sick. We'll be back, hey, you know. I think we've been, we've only taken two weeks off in the last like eight months. It's impressive. Mm-hmm. Horrible Rob in the house. What's up, Horrible Rob? Kevin JK, Sean Raz, Brian2172. What's up? Snookman, Crystal Gale, Ink Spike. The one and only Johnny Stinkfinger. Traps a crab and squanching in here. You might have you might have messaged me traps a crab in and I might have read it and then I might have got sick and I forgot what it was. <laughs> that was a couple weeks ago, so I'm sorry about that. Any anybody that didn't get any messages in the last couple weeks? You know, was on antibiotics and diverticulitis and all kind of crap. But I'm feeling good now. Fine, Chug. What's up? Dog log. NHRA 1967. I hate that not caring about sickness made me, like, political. <laughs> it's not political at all. I just don't give a fuck. I mean, so I, well, the, I'm just... The whole but, corona thing? Well, before corona, like, I mean, people would be like, oh, you know, I'd ask one of my friends to go fishing. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, I'm... 
sick and I don't want to give it to you. And I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Let's go fishing, you know. I, don't, I got a good immune system. And I don't care if I get sick. It cha- <laughs> I need to change, chill in bed. <laughs> it changed people forever. It like, you know, it like it made a societal change where people are scared and people don't have scared fun and sick. people are whatever. It's like, didn't, didn't do shit to me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we won't talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about that. VW Rick in the house going in another direction. No hang last night. Illness. Spices under the weather. Emerson Johnson, 57 months. That's deep. Oh, Emerson Johnson. God damn it, Donna. Mm, Why do you do that? What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> Cancel the show. <laughs> Kegel Sorry. with Hogan. Good morning. Don't forget, Ned in your head. It's already Friday tomorrow. On Ned in your head tomorrow, woo! 745. I was just trying to give you a woo, Emerson Johnson. I'll give him a nice clean woo here. Woo! Why can't in here? Why does my woo stop? I don't stop know. Well, you, you <laughs> brings you every, it out. everything to a grinding halt. Ned, you're you had tomorrow morning. Seven forty-five. Ned, Ned, as as I look at the uh, the totals on the medal stand, Kevin JK twenty-five thousand, J- Jamie the Poner eleven thousand, Ned's Navy fifteen hundred. But that's all from last week. What is it? Oh, the mo- that's the uh, bit totals. Oh. That, that's from last week. Untouched. Ned's, <laughs> Ned's going to need a banger tomorrow. Ned's going to need a banger to keep the lights on. Ned, I'm your feeling head. it today. You feeling it today? I'm feeling, feeling a, a nice a cluster F I banger. I had some good fishing luck like yesterday. I'm going to come in and just hype train it up. It's going to be a record. I'm feeling it. And we got the wall. We're redoing oh, yeah. the wall. Redoing Everybody the wall. needs to know. It's $100 to get on the wall. You've, I mean, if you've been on the wall, you've been on the wall for years, right? Has it been? It's been oh, it's a been years. years. It's been years. So it's $100 to re-up if you want your name kept on the wall. PayPal us. I if, remember um, back when my name was on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I see uh, old videos sometimes. Well, you know, like old bits or a Ned song, and yeah. they don't. There's nothing on the wall behind him, and it like it looks so <laughs> bare. So bare. It looks so weird and bare. So it's been up there quite a while. Yeah. And I told you she wasn't gonna paint these walls. I'm not yet. I'm giving yeah. everybody fair notice. I want to be she fair. She can't find those paints. Yes. I can't. <laughs> you have to go get a match at Home Depot. If you want your name left where it is, let me know. And you're gonna and have to make a chart about where everybody's name is. I could just get a picture. <laughs> on the wall. Modern technology. <laughs> <laughs> Emerson Johnson. I'm not erasing everybody. Some people want, you know, have already given their hundred dollars and want their name she just left right nobody. where it is. I know, but maybe they want their name painted over and redrawn in a fresh name, a fresh, bright new name. Well, <laughs> I don't know. The, er, we'll uh, Emerson Johnson gifted uh, five tier one subs, taking I'm it, talking about taking him to one thousand one hundred and nineteen. Woo! That, that's a Woo! Crap ton of subs, Emerson Johnson. Thank you very much, Crystal Gale in the house. I don't want to ask about it. What's lo- what's with swole copy topi lapi topi? Very faintly dr- drawn drawn up there. It's right uh, below the smiley face. <laughs> smiley. Where's, the, where's the smiley face? Top know. right. Lefter. You're touching it. <laughs> He's blind. He can't right, see from, from close up, probably. You can't. It's Ray, like t- painter. I can't even see it. I know. I just <laughs> noticed it. That somebody, he somebody might, got ripped off. He might, Maybe, it we, was had, maybe out we had some the, heat. Maybe we no, had some heat. I, I, I was, was thinking it was heat. That was heat. when I was starting to, I said I was going to start removing names of people that didn't chime in and let us know. And so I the did first, one. Was the first victim. Yeah. Well, yeah. First well, what did you victim. use? To, what did you use? <laughs> it's a half ass. Well, maybe it's just I, one then coat. I realized I need to do a couple coats. It's going to be two coats. coats. At least two coats. Oh, so she could, yeah. could be three coats. Why is it, is it underlined or is that bad paint job? You could sand it off. <laughs> I don't know. Get off my know. back, man. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that it, you need to know, people need to know that they're they're being redone. So uh, the, the roller is coming. The paint roller is coming. Trace? What? Can you go let a dog inside? It's Rue. Rue's outside. 
He for, he wanted out last minute. Rue gets whatever she wants because she's she's king of the roost. She's the oldest dog. She's the best dog. She's a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So whatever Rue wants. I'm out of these special treats that I give to Rue. The soft ones oh. that I used to give to Buzz. Yeah. But those are mm. expensive, so I don't know if we should keep them. I mean, it's like outrageously expensive. Yeah. But it's What's for, expensive? It's for Rue. Some of these chews, I get, little treats I give Rue. No. I mean, you guys are suckers. <laughs> for all those animals. <clears throat> suckers. We had, to put, we had to put Mr. Ace down. What? Mm. Mr. Ace. Oh. He was just... Can't it? take much more death of my animals. No, I, I mean, it was all the wrong ones. Buttercup. All the wrong ones. Buttercup, which she was no problem. It's the best horse, no problem at all. Buttercups, thirty years and no problem. Um, little buzzy. Little buzzy. No problem. It wasn't a problem. He just a yapper. <laughs> just say, oh, every time I came home, I was like, greet the dogs, and then it's like, Buzzy was kept in the bedroom, so it's like you could hear him out there going nuts. Since I got time to get the idiot. And then he'd act like an idiot for 10 minutes. <laughs> Not an idiot. He was the happiest little doggy. <laughs> he was out of control. What's it? And then we had I don't to put Ace down. Ace down uh, two days ago. Two days ago. He, his yeah. tumor took tumor, over. Tumor. It was yeah. too much tumor. It was a big tumor. He was too old. He's 18. He was 18 years old. He had a really good yeah. life. And it was like, he, and you know, it was like the last day. You know, he'd, be, he'd get up and he's like, well, you know, you know, and I'm like, nope. We're not going to do the, you might have a couple more days left in him, because that ends up bad. you gotta, you got to determine when it's the, the downhill has exceeded the quality of life, and you got to do it, because you let them hang on too long, and then they suffer, and it sucks. So and it sucks oh. doing it that way, too, the way you say, too, it sucks, because, you know, you don't want to put your, that's why people hang on too long, because you don't want to put them down until they're actually dying, because it's hard. It's hard to be like, you know, he's <laughs> loving me all the, you know, and right, but that's your favor to them. I know. It's your favor to them. I don't know what you said, but it, it reminded me of that sad. song on the radio. What is it? What is what is what? red rum? Red rum. There's a guy. I don't know. Like red rum. Red it's rum. A, red okay, rum. Okay. Well, the, the red rum is a classic thing from. The Shining movie, and someone wrote "murder" on the on the back, on the mirror. Yeah, and that's red rum and, is, or is murder spelled backwards. Spelled backwards. backwards. Uh. And so he, you know, he was like red. And it was a little kid, and he was saying it in a weird voice, "Red rum, red rum." He like, he, he, it's a parents are sleeping, and this kid walks in, and he's going, "Red rum, red rum," and then they pan to the thing, and it says "murder." It's pretty, pretty good scene. But no. I don't know what's the I don't song. Know if, what I don't song think I've seen it. it. It's just. I don't know. It's a new rap song, and the guy just the whole time, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum, red rum. Is that a new word on the streets, like for some kind of rum, some kind of drink? No, <laughs> it's probably from that. And mur it just He's a rapper. He's saying murder. Oh, yeah, he's just saying murder. He's just getting away with saying murder. 21 Savage, <laughs> red rum. Yeah. Now, it's, uh, it's just like, it it's a pretty is shitty that the song. Chorus? There's like a couple 21 Savage songs. I can't remember if it was him on uh, SNL or someone else. But he was it, recently on SNL. Yeah. And he was playing a lot of his songs. He really talks like. And man, yeah. it just did not translate oh, from. I mean, just seeing, you know, and he wasn't. Dancing or doing, and you know, usually you want to have a stage presence. Like, I mean, just like sitting there talking like, and you're like, what the fuck? Like it, you're like how is this even on? And and you know, so you see it on Saturday Night Live, and he'll get you know get the you know the huge applause, and it's like, wouldn't it be more entertaining as a show if somebody gives a shitty performance like that to hear a smattering of a pro applause or maybe some booze? That's what I want to see, not this fake hype. Because everybody's going to get the standing ovation on SNL because the audience, they hype them up and say, and this is what you got to do, and you got to go crazy. And people, people want to be a part of it, so they do it. What do you, oh, can you just... I'm trying to hear this, 21 Sabbath. Does it start out with the red rum, or we got a whole bunch mm, of bullshit yeah, to get yeah, there? Yeah, skip a little <laughs> bit in there. Who is that? 
Okay. Are you <laughs> sure it says red rum? Yeah, it says. Yeah, I mean, you gotta. I don't know. That's like the. That's the chorus or whatever. Okay. <laughs> that's a fun. <clears throat> that's a fun rap. <clears throat> rap game we could play on the bar show. I mean, the, what? Just, just, you know, just to take a rap song like this and fade it up and down and up and down and see the, ridic- the ridiculous words. <laughs> I Every mean, time it, gonna be this something is ridiculous. This, it's pretty ridiculous how bad I am. Like, Lauren's like, you would like this song if you just listen to the lyrics. She just doesn't get it. You know, she's a lyric person and listens hmm. to the lyric lyrics. Like, I don't know what songs are about, and she just doesn't get it. Like, I can't focus on the lyrics. Like. This red rum song, the whole song could be about murder, and like I would never know. And the the name of the song's murder backwards, and it could be like I ah, take you out back and shoot you in the head, like, and I would never know it's about murder. I just don't. That's some, that's <laughs> some form of condition. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. So like you don't know you like you couldn't sing I like big butts and I cannot lie. Then well, I, that, that's, you, know. you took it to an extreme. <laughs> I mean. There, <laughs> he obviously like it's about like and big but you know songs <laughs> you know some but songs. if it was about something else he wouldn't get it maybe it's just this new music i never do no song with no rap pussy <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a great game <laughs> <laughs> ain't no red rum in here ain't no ain't no there's got to be pussy <laughs> pussy <laughs> Ain't no red rum. Go on. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It's gotta come. It's this is the song. You're skipping all the red rum. Keep my mouth closed and that's never gonna change. Never gonna change. Come on, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> It's so funny. My brother's got his ass love slang. <laughs> I don't even know what he just My said. My brother's got his ass love slang. <laughs> so <laughs> you can exactly write, you can rhyme, and you can become a million rhymes for, for like saying just guy. But we had to dang, to make the most of dang, and they never say the word. You know it's smoke because they ain't even take off his chain. <laughs> It reminds oh, the state me. of music. The state of music. Say it's up with me, your ass must do cocaine. <laughs> It's Ain't got no it. red Come rum, on, man. I mean, the song's almost over. There you go. He uh, right, because he cr- said crumb. Uh, it's got to rhyme. It's going to rhyme. It's going to rhyme. <laughs> Everything else red. Murder them piggies. Yeah. This is the state of <laughs> music <laughs> in saying America. That? What's that? You're saying what? No, no, blow your house Green up. jelly. Green jelly, yeah. I thought that was the big bad wolf. It was the Three Little Pigs, yeah. Green Jelly did the Three Little Pigs song. It's terrible. We play it. People must have hated us. We played it every time. The Green Parrot. <laughs> People really hated us. We'd bang our heads like real little a holes. <laughs> I don't know. What you're Best about. song of the album. Savage never disappoints. <laughs> These are bangers. You don't know the Green Jelly song. No, nobody. That's not. That was not a big hit. No, the Green I, Jelly I thought, song. I Sit back and let me tell you a story about three oh, hey, little I've heard the, pigs. I've heard that. Down, 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 down. I thought you were saying this guy wrote the book Three Little Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody actually say there? Is there an author for the Three Little Pigs? It's like gotta a, be. It's well, a banger. That's a banger right that's there. A classic, classic. <laughs> classic. I wonder, you know, like three the three little pigs. I bet a, a lot more people don't know what that is anymore. Young people, you know, then they never. Yeah, got, they I never got read. It. They never got read the three. Their parents were on their iPhones on own phones. We weren't reading them. Three little pigs, you know. They, yeah, I don't. They think gave them a tablet so. and sent them to bed. I mean. <laughs> Do you think you ever wrote Three Little Pigs is getting mailbox money? <laughs> no. I mean, st- uh, even if you got a check for like 93 bucks a week and you're like, from writing the Three Little Pigs, that's... <laughs> Three Little Pigs is a popular fairy tale that originated in England and has been widely attributed to Joseph Jacobs, a folklorist who mm-hmm. included it in his 1890 collection, English Fairy Tales. 1890, so that guy's been... For over a hundred years, 
it's still around, but I think it's dying. I think yeah. I, I think the three little pigs will be gone soon. All them fairy tales. But I mean, so three little pigs is one of the most popular ever. But the uh, so like um. The, oh, I'm trying to think of some other fairy tales. Like, see, I can't. I can't. The old lady in the shoe. Old lady who lived in a shoe. shoe. Old Mother Hubbard. Jack the Nimble. <laughs> is, there, is, is that are, a fairy tale? Know, Jack and the Beanstalk would be a fairy tale. Yeah. You know, Jack and the Beanstalk. So still, Jack and the Beanstalk still alive, <laughs> right? But I bet your kids. Yeah. Don't know that. We're gonna ask. I'm gonna we'll ask the ask kids him. if they know Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know Jack and the Beanstalk. I mean, I know it is, I think I but I don't know the actual fairy tale. Jack and the Beanstalk? He climbed up the... Well, he, his mother sent him to town to get some... With, with their cow, to sell their cow, to get some groceries. And he stopped and he <laughs> gave the guy the cow for three magic beans. And he got home, and the mom was like, you know, out, it's a shit story. Was outraged, <laughs> and she couldn't believe he. So, and then so he, the, she threw the beans out the window, and the next day so there was the giant stalk up to the giant, and the kid went there, and the giant was just living cool and everything. And the kid pissed him off and stole his golden goose, and then the giant ended up tumbling down the beanstalk. It's and Jack cut the it moral down. of the he story. Killed is, the giant for no reason. The moral of the story <laughs> uh-huh. is we are the worst. Race of people that I, <laughs> even if we find a giant peaceful beanstalk society, we're gonna fucking chop it down. <laughs> well, the giant just lived up in the clouds for some reason. Hey, we go up there. And s- nobody even knew there was a giant. Steal his <laughs> goose and chop his house down. That sounds about right. That sounds, that's us. The worst humans. P- humans. <laughs> the worst song that I didn't never realize you know wasn't paying to the lyrics enough. Was only where? What was it? Bingo was his name. Oh, E-I-N-G-O. That's how I used to sing it when I was a kid. Trace, Trace, Trace. And Bingo was his name. Oh, E-I-N-G-O. I didn't know we were spelling bingo. Trace plugged music class in kindergarten. <laughs> Couldn't spell bingo. I wasn't trying to spell bingo. I didn't know that's what, what the goal was. I was thought the song went E-I. bingo was his name. Ango. E I. Ango. And what does it go on? Does then it, it just goes. Does the farmer have more animals or some kind of crap like that? No, then you just go. You just go. He was a farmer, had a dog, and bingo was his name. Oh, I N G O, I N G O. And then you go. I mean, but the other it's song does it. Same N-G-O. shit. Huh? <laughs> it says it's the same. It's just the same, same thing. There was it's a like farmer, it's had like a I mean. hundred bottles of beer on the wall, yeah. kind of thing. There's another just one over though that is nonsensical. That's what is it? E I O McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. That doesn't spell nothing. No, that's it. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> just not realizing it spells something. E I O. E E O. I I O. E E O. Is that is that like just making fun of farmers? Like E I E I O. That's how they talk. There, there, there. E I E I O. It's just making fun of the common man. More, more making fun of people. Trying to, I see like. The iconic ones. There's, I'm sure there's iconic ones out there, but I can't think of the fa- iconic fairy tales. Oh, Jack the, be nimble. The the hair, the, the tortoise and the hair. That's yeah. a. So I don't know. That's a fable, but it's like like it's that. Every, everybody fable. knew that one. You know that one, right? Yeah. So yeah, I bet that one. Tell that story to fucking <laughs> Usain Bolt. Come on, fast people finish first. <laughs> Unless they're lazy and take a nap in the middle of the race, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady race. does not win the race. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I do that sometimes when I'm when I'm driving, <laughs> and I get ahead of everybody, yeah. and then I then some other asshole makes me hit a light, and then here comes the asshole that Just I pay, pass, and I'm like, mm-hmm. Slow and steady. Slow and wins steady the wins the race. race. It's, it happens all the time. You're like, you know, passing these people and you're trying to make this light. And then, you know, you're making the lights and all of a sudden this guy pulls up behind you. That you passed two miles ago. Yeah. Like, God damn it. Mm-hmm. That's me. But it's I'm that guy. Some other idiot, you know, and I'm sitting there that I always take. And if you hadn't gotten my way, I'd be all the way up there right now because I hit that light because of you. 
Just calm down. Don't worry about Shut it. Shut up. Need to calm down. <laughs> I'm trying to calm down a little more behind the wheel. It's so easy. <laughs> it's you just yeah, like you got I, like I, you're in the line. It, like there's one part where back you know up there if you're coming towards the house where you know you're in this lane and you can get over and do this whole shab- Just sh- I just have no problem chilling in the lane, sitting and waiting for traffic to. You know yeah, what I hate I though? I what people do, do a lot is. It's like the right lane will just be a mile long it's ridiculous. and there's nobody in the other two. And then I get up to like, it'll be going heading towards the interstate and all these people will wait three light cycles just so they can be in the right They're lane not late to like get you. on the interstate. They're not late. And then you'll get up to the interstate and you're like, man, half not these in people, panic. shut up. <laughs> and you'll be like, half these people aren't even turning right. And they're still in the uh, right lane. Mile long line, and there's tell three them. people in each of the other two lines. It's like, what is up with you people? And I they, think it's that they don't they don't want to go because they're on their phones. They don't, don't want to be bothered to care. go. They don't want to. Yeah, they don't have enough bother because they're just on their phones, and they don't even try to make the light. You know, like you're saying, the guy the guy got screwed by the light, and then he didn't even try to make the next one because he's on his phone. I guess if you're on your phone, you may sit there all day. Yeah, you're not that uh, interested. I gotta try in that. that they light. maybe they just left twenty minutes early and anticipated the traffic. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going somewhere and I gotta be there, it's like twenty minutes away, and you know, it, it's it's twelve o'clock. I gotta be there at eight. You know, mm-hmm. at uh, let's say twelve thirty. And I'm going to leave 10 minutes early. And mom's just like, what are you doing? You could wait an extra seven minutes and 32 <laughs> seconds before you have to leave and get exactly there if you rush, 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 rush. I'll just no. leave a little so early. I, the, Says the guy who gets here exactly. Three, min- no, three minutes after eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. On Time, yeah, right? Leaving, I was on time. early every day. I was here right Slow at eight. And steady. Leaving early every day. Make sure he's here on time. Sean, it Sean says, well, you're supposed to drive in the right lane, Donna. Uh, shut up, Sean. Yeah, shut up. Not in a three, <laughs> la- up, not in a three <laughs> lane highway. The only time they don't ride in the right lane is when they should be in the right lane on the interstate. It's like they're all we get it. Everybody's wrong and you're right. <laughs> I'm going to fucking <laughs> highway, punch him in the face today. Highway. What is your fucking problem? <laughs> what might I ask <laughs> today? Anything. What is your problem? <laughs> what? what did I do to you other than everything for you <laughs> in your whole life? What, why you got to try to... I'm, not, I'm just talking to you about your traffic experiences. Mm-hmm. I told you you were right and everybody mm-hmm. else is wrong. I thought that's what you wanted. You better to shut up. <laughs> State Road 54 is a, three, a, is a massive a <laughs> three lane road that has, you know, six lanes on, I mean, three lanes on each side. So you, she's talking about that when they're, you'll have a mile long with the people in the right lane and that, uh, the other lanes will have like four or five cars in them. And it's that like Charlie <laughs> Bat? Where's that Charlie Bat go? Charlie Bat. I saw that recently. No, it was right Just over saw here. That I Charlie knew it. Bat. <laughs> Somewhere. What are you looking for? The, the Charlie, Charlie bat. The one with, raise, with the uh, razor wire on it. So I can hit Trace in the face. Oh, with no, the I was <laughs> looking around. I wasn't paying attention to those lyrics either. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll help you find the bat. Where is it at? <laughs> Here it is. Did you see it over there, Trace? The Charlie bat. Lauren says Trace has been a cranky asshole since yesterday evening. Oh, what happened then? <laughs> I was just being cranky. Nothing. Cranky. No, it wasn't that cranky. Cranky Trace. I have gotten better. You know, you know the, the light when you turn on the collier, you know, it backs up all the way to 54. You're in the right lane. Mm-hmm. And sometimes lately I just sit and I just sit in that lane, eh, you know, to be like three Good minutes. Good job. It's going to be three minutes. Three minutes. It's going to be three minutes max. Maybe even, you know, a minute and a half. Just sit there. Before I'd be like, uh, I know I can get into space. I know I can get in in front of one of these assholes, which is easy to do. I Rushing see, makes yeah, I do it all but the time. It's, it's like, you know, I don't want to take the chance of not doing it and then looking like a jackass. So. You're ruining your life. Rushing <laughs> things makes time go by fast. Oh, it sure does. It, you know, if you're like in a rush to get somewhere and you're like, <laughs> oh, that clock is just a ticking away. It's like the, you know, is that so, have something to do with life? In time, we don't even know what time is, you know. Yeah, like, no, we can't really explain what time is. Time exists, maybe, but it's yeah, we do. (laughs) It's the 
amount of <laughs> yeah yeah time yeah, there you go. See, <laughs> she can't do it <laughs> whatever she, goes around whatever but time it's so relative time is like you could be in this miserable like lecture and listen to some guy drone mm. on and you're just looking at the wall, clock on the wall going this is this this feels like three hours and then you could be you know doing something at home that you're enjoying and go oh my god <laughs> it's been three hours it felt like 20 minutes yeah. so it's all so what is time well, i mean is there degrees of time <laughs> When if you sat in a lecture for your whole life, long. would it feel like you lived the longest <laughs> life ever? Let's go to a lecture. Let's expand go, our let's, lives. Let's live in a lecture hall. <laughs> we'd be so bored that we would feel like we live forever. Mm -hmm. That would be horrible. How, would, how about living forever in general? How, how boring would that be? Gosh, time on a boat <laughs> fucking flies, bro. I'm going to be dead by tomorrow. I'm going to boat my whole life away. Where'd you go? <laughs> well, I'll, well, I went up to, you know, I, Laura needed a new tire on her truck, so I went and did that, and then I headed up to I Homosassa to get my boat, and I was just planning on getting my boat, and I got my boat, and I pulled over to McRae's to go take a pee before I got back on the road. And this guy just pulled up on a boat with a big old basket of trout. And I was like, mm -hmm. ah, looks like I'm going to have to go fishing today. <laughs> I didn't put the boat in right now. You, really? <laughs> I was like, I'm going fishing today. Catch some trout? Oh, did I you, sent you a picture of my, of my did trout. Did you go ask him how he caught it? No, nah, oh. I didn't need to. I caught Why? like 20 trout yesterday. Wow. Like, the, you know, they weren't all keepers. But these were... These were my keepers. These were pretty big. Can't tell how big they are. Yeah. On my, my phone, they looked a lot bigger than they do. You measure them? They were legit keepers? They were legit keepers. It sucks, you know, doing this whole trying to do things legally. You mm. know, growing up, I guess they call it. That looks like a decent size one. Yeah, it, was it was big. How were they? Delicious? You know, they were no, they, they were no. no mangrove snapper. They were pretty. It wasn't bad. Is that Bella? Yeah. She go with you. So trout, not not you. You don't recommend trout as a no, delicious it's, fish. It's it's a good it's a good fish. Good fish. Good, pretty, it's just okay. Not, just not great. It's not a great fish. It's a mediocre fish. I like you know. Maybe I just cooked it's, didn't cook it. No, right. no. I'm gonna. I have a little bit more. I'm gonna cook today. Would you say maybe you didn't cook it right? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. I didn't look up how to cook it. I just blackened it and well, grilled I mean, it like I usually do. Ink Spike yeah. wants to know how many Corona bottles long are they? <laughs> <laughs> One and a half. <laughs> One and three four, four quarters. Almost two. So how, many no, did you, how, two. how many did you catch, did you say, total? I think of 20, 25. And two were keepers or you just kept two? Two were keepers. They were, you know, that's what I'm saying. It sucks to do things legally now. I mm -hmm. think I think they have to be 15 inches to yeah. keep them. And I caught like 10, 14 inches, uh. like just barely. <laughs> but they, you know, I caught a I you caught a five foot long fucking alligator gar out of the ocean, fucking like that big. I pulled up. To, How much it weigh? That's a big fish. I don't know. I couldn't. I was. I forgot my net at the house. Mm -hmm. I always forget the net, but I forgot the net, and I just had him on the side of the boat, and he's you know like this big, and I'm like trying did to you, get him in, but I didn't know. I was you just like, cut, I, you cut the cut the line on there. How do you get the teeth of the? Uh, eventually, the hook just came out. You yeah. know, they got really you know like a narrow mouth. Yeah, this bony narrow mouth. So. The hook just came out, but I was trying to get him on the boat, and I. I, think, yeah, I would have seen, like to see the picture of your five foot. Yeah, you sure you don't have a, a net under that big thing? I'm. I don't. I might. That black one, <laughs> net. the foldable one that I, I got might to, have it. Yeah. But I, you know, I was, I was had him right next <laughs> to the boat, and I was thinking about going and you know, pick, scooping him up like that. But I seen too many videos of fish on the side of the boat where the shark comes and fucking eats. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, That's, yeah. I ain't getting my fucking hand bitten off today. <laughs> Snookman says probably a houndfish, no gar in salt water. Really? I've looked it up. Where, where you? Were, where? How far out were you? Not far. Yeah. 
probably get them. I mean, just like you find, you know, saltwater fish in, you know, the river for a little ways. It could be a hound fish, but I see a lot of gar out there. I don't so know what I don't a hound know. fish looks like. I'll have to look it up I'll in a little bit. But, but Snookman said trout is soft and kind of fishy. Yeah, it was too soft. That's what it was. The texture was, you know. No, I've caught I've caught the, those before. That's 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 more needlefish like. Yeah, I've caught plenty of those before. The hound fish. Yeah. I didn't know what it was called, but I guess I do now. But this was a fucking alligator gar. Spe- you know, I could tell it was big, a gar. Big ass alligator gar. Yeah, it was like four or five foot long. Is it thicker, thicker than that. Yeah, it was way thicker yeah, than that. I mean, this thing weighed fucking 40 pounds, maybe. Was that fun to catch? Yeah, it was pretty, you know, <laughs> I was like, what the? Then it got closer, and I'm just like, you know, I know most of the fish I catch out there. I'm like, that's not a, not a catfish or a shark. What the fuck? is? It's not a cobia. What, <laughs> what is on my line? And then I was like, I kind of knew because I caught one. I thought I caught <laughs> an alligator gar before. I think I told you about that. It was, you know, I had it like 20 feet from the boat, and I'm just like, is that a fucking alligator gar? And then it got off. So our, our <laughs> like, gar probably not good eating. You know, I can't get a, everything, you look up anything, and it says it's good eating on, on, online. You know, they're like, that, it was like, let go down. Yeah, that's what I fucking See, caught. That's a that's a big ass that's yeah, a big that's... ass thick fish. It, it was a, it was a little smaller than that. Yeah, that's a pre, that's a pretty big one. But I, you know, it was cool to reel up. I mean, I think it's cool just to see alligator gar in the river. Yeah, it's so big, it's just cool. It doesn't look as spotted as not, not that's a river. that's a big ass one right yeah. there. Can you eat him? Can you eat him? I, it said, you know, it's it, they're hard to clean, but they're good eating. Oh, they are. Tastes like an alligator. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> but while the flesh is tasty, it should be noted that the <laughs> eggs of the alligator gar are toxic. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So don't eat the roe of an alligator gar. I, I would have just let it go anyway. You know, it says it's difficult to... F- Filet and it, eggs are poisonous, and it's probably not that great. Do people eat like just regular fish row? Like if you catch a, f- you know, I can I can remember fishing with my uncle and him taking the row like he was gonna, you know, take it home and eat it. And it's like, how do you eat? What do you eat it like? Caviar? Like you, mm, probably. How do you eat the row? I don't know, man. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> It says the alligator guards are able to tolerate brackish and even salt water, but they prefer sluggish backwaters of large rivers, swamps, bayous, and lakes. I don't think mess you up with them teeth. Mm-hmm. That's some di- that one's a nice thick trap. Yeah. There. I, w- I, w- I was full when I was done eating them. How many did you eat? I ate, well, I had that, you know, four fillets, and I ate mm-hmm. three, and I brought one for lunch today does bella eat those uh normally she would but i got home i didn't get home till like 8 30 and they had already eaten i thought she went with you no oh i thought that picture was bella I no think. she just gets all excited to see the fish are caught and then gets mad at me that i didn't she's the only kid that just gets fucking pissed as fuck if you go fishing without her <laughs> <laughs> i mean she gets angry <laughs> that's all she wants to do with the dock is take the net out and try to get fish <laughs> yeah She's, yeah, she's, she's an animal expert. <laughs> I saw a big ass the turtle in the pasture. You know, you usually see turtles walking in the pasture. Big one, big one. So I was like, well, let's go see what that is, Bella. And she's like, oh, that's a snapping turtle. <laughs> I said, it's an alligator snapping turtle. She said, no, it's a something, something to snapping turtle. <laughs> I said, that's pretty good for seven years old. Yeah, she knows all the animals. She's obsessed. Obsessed. She needs to be a zoologist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I sit there and I fillet those fish, fish right, you know, right in front of her. And uh, what's that? I'm worried. I'm like, am I? Is this normal? She likes to watch me fillet the fish. I'm like, or am I creating a Jeffrey Dahmer? Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> a lot of kids that. go hunting and yeah, stuff that's, like that. That's normal. So. That's normal because she, you know, she loves animals. <laughs> she loves her bell bell. I'm getting. I think I'm getting an early base tan going here. It's still <laughs> you cold look out. Like it. I'm oh, it's pretty getting pretty tan. Been, it was like yesterday was gorgeous. Like a little July, chilly. 
a little chilly out on the boat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I was just like, that was that temperature. If it would be that temperature every day. Mm-hmm. It's like today's going to be 80 and sunny. It's going to be so nice. Yeah, it was nice. Su- Sunday is going to be 77. Awesome. And sunny. It's like we should have a barbecue or something. Yeah, we, have, we, we should have a see what we'll, we'll start doing. We'll have a barbecue game, and perhaps like one or two volleyball games will break out. You know, yeah. not, not planned for. We'll a have whole, a barbecue game. Did I say Is that, that a thing? <laughs> that's what. That's, <laughs> that's what, what I call. Ball a barbecue game. We'll have a barbecue, and we'll sit around and drink beer, and 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 the kids can play and ride the four wheeler, and occasionally we might grab the ball and play a couple games. Sounds like I good, like if like I'm playing volleyball, me. I'm playing volleyball, oh, bro. See, oh, we could do that. I'm I'm. <laughs> I love uh, volleyball. I'm, I'm good with that. You can get I some more. Tape my knee up. Uh, <laughs> you'll be hurting so bad on Monday. I will Monday. be. I'll, be st- I'll just be the guy that stands there and hits the ball. Right there. <laughs> pretty good bet. I need. We need to get. Some, we need to get some more young, tall people over, <laughs> so I don't feel so bad. Like you know, it's yeah, getting to the point people. where I'm just like spiking on people like Brandon. Uh. He's just so stunned. He's like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta feel bad. <laughs> uh, or your mom. Got, uh, mom. We got Bradley. See, we got. See, I mean, we're all. You know, this is good. It's good. We're all the same height. Weston, Bradley, <laughs> me, you. We're all pretty within an inch or two of each other. Yeah. Yeah. And your mom. The entire the entire team is un- under like five nine. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha. Trisha Berlin. Me. Ty and Donna. It's Tiny. weird. That we're like the Laura, only Lauren. three, four girls that ever play. It's Lauren. Lauren's what? Five foot. She's just five foot yeah, even. Really? Even. Thought she was a little taller. Nope. All the, all just made me realize that all the other women in my family <laughs> lie about their height. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Yeah, I think Berlin. Berlin's four eleven. Yeah, four eleven. I mean, everybody. Pretty good everybody, volleyball player. So so everybody adds an inch to their player. height if you're, sh- especially if you're short. Yeah, I, I do I'm tell five. Berlin. I tell Berlin. Tell just say you're five feet. Yeah, I would too. I would. There's no. If I was four eleven, I'm definitely five feet. Yeah. I mean, if I'm five eleven, I'm six feet for sure. <laughs> you know. Yeah, everybody does that. I mean, I'm what? I don't know. I don't even I'm know. Five, I, I'm five two. I've been telling everybody I'm <laughs> five nine. <laughs> I'm five eight, I think. And I used to be five. I used to be five <laughs> eight and a half. I think. <laughs> and I used to say I was five nine. I don't know. I think I'm five six, or I'm five. I don't know how tall I am. Yeah, you probably. I say six. I'm five six, but I might be shorter. I think that's. I don't a, think you're shorter. Than I that. think five six is that. That's the, you know, that's about the height where you you're not short guy. Mm. You know, I don't like to look at you as short guy. Yeah, I but don't you get either. Five 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 four, then you're short guy. I mean, I I walk in. To a store, and I see some guy my height, and I'm like, "Look at that short motherfucker!" <laughs> like, and I get in line. He's derogatory. Yeah, look at that short piece he's, of shit. See, and I walk up, you know, get in line with him, and he's, I'm like, "Oh fuck, he's as tall as me." I don't know. I picture myself as like six foot two. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch it. It's gonna get you in trouble. Kevin JK says I'm only five fifteen. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Even short uh, people are biased against other short people. Trey, see, mm-hmm. see, that's why short people can't can't get a good yeah, can't get ahead. The short people, yeah, short, short people. <laughs> that short fuck. <laughs> He's only an inch taller than me. That short piece of shit. <laughs> Kevin J.K. said he would kill me and vo- crush me in volleyball. <laughs> Bring it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Can't wait to see that <laughs> battle at the net <laughs> Yeah <clears throat> I was like what's to, What was Todd 6'4 Yeah 6'3 6'4 yeah. yeah. Todd never utilized <clears throat> his height he, Yeah he could have just Dominated mm-hmm. Fortunately for him he, he he liked to carry the ball a lot So he'd, he'd just <laughs> Smash the ball But he'd be, and he'd be like No you threw it buddy. <laughs> You threw it Our point <laughs> <laughs> Snookman's tall too 6'3 He's almost hmm. as tall as me. 
<laughs> Kevin J. K. says, just say when, Trace. Just say when. Just settle this on the volleyball court. Yep. You know, it's not all about height. You got to know how to play. Right? Yeah. So you got an alibi, Trace. You were fishing because I thought I saw you on the beach this week. I thought I saw you. Did you see this story? No. Okay, I thought I saw Trace on the beach this weekend. This couple passed out on the beach. Oh, you oh love that's, that's back in me and Lauren all day. Give yeah, me. all that mess around. <laughs> Gosh. I was, <laughs> Trace is like, was I on the beach? <laughs> I think, I think I you could convince him. Was that me and, <laughs> was that me and Lauren? I, don't, I thought I went fishing, but... Hold up, hold up, hold up, yeah. pause it. What are you doing wrong? You're not allowed <laughs> to get black. You know, I got. I have to watch it. You're not allowed to black and out and pass look out where on the beach. Look, look out, where right where cars out. drive. I, I don't. I just thought that. I just think that cars on the beach is not just, a good it's idea. Just a bad anymore. idea. They used to be in Daytona. You know, when back in the day when people were courteous and. People had some sense. some sense. Not anymore. That just looks like an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Go ahead and play. Yep. Oh, Jesus. But look how, car, how close this car is to him. Mm -hmm. oh, why are you giving me the gimmick again? Man. I already refreshed it. You son just of a Just give it a second. Maybe it'll... <laughs> I was going to say, don't pause it anymore because... Gosh, never works again gosh, for you. I mean, it. I still, I still have never been to a beach where you, there car is allowed. You know, it just I, even when you say it, cars on the beach, like, I can't. Even, uh, I cars on the beach. I don't, like, even, want, so weird to me. I don't even want to go to a place for driving. No, look how close kids how, run. Look how you can't, close, ten feet away. How do kids run around on the beach? You know, you can't have kids running around on the beach or nothing. And even if you're driving on the beach and you're like, well, you know, I'm driving four miles an hour, yeah, I'm being safe. But you're preoccupied because you're driving on the. F that's why you're driving on the beach, right? Yeah, because you're like, I'm driving on the beach. You're not like focused on driving. You're like, I'm driving on the beach. Yeah, that's a bad. Just a stupid. That with so many a-holes in the world, people driving on the beach, probably watching, looking at their phone. You don't hear a lot of people getting ran over on the beach, though. You don't. Or maybe it just doesn't make the news. <laughs> maybe <laughs> it's just a number. Stop this! Wake up! Let him sleep it off. Right. <laughs> Welcome back. Sit up. Why right. can't have alcohol on the beach? Why not? Why not? Can't have alcohol on the beach. Why not? Yeah, it's a good risk spot. Why the fuck not? You but know? Just littered with cans Cussing everywhere. Cussing, you're just an asshole. No, dude. I, I don't even... I don't even... What? Recognize that as a real law. Have Everybody has be... You know, you gotta put it in oh. your fucking cu different yeah. cups so the cops don't fuck with you. But, you know, yeah... It's like I know I you know I drink on the beach all the time, but yeah. I don't get like that. No, you know, but I'm not gonna get like that on the beach. Yeah, you don't Good need idea. to be getting trashed on. I mean, it gets better. It's really gets better. Uh, do you have ID? Uh, do you have my ID or kids there? Oh, do you they guys have, have kids children there? with you? Yeah. Do you have my ID or kids in yours? Are they with you? Their kids. Right there. Oh, that's not cool. I don't know where their kids are. <laughs> here and here. Look at the kids. I got this. I'll do it no. with him. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll go with him. Show me where your kids are. Guys, <laughs> hey! Uh -huh. How old are they? Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Boys, girls, boy and a girl? Boy and a girl. Yeah, you were everything else on the beach, you passed out, you're supposed to be watching other people. So, we're not I would be so freaked out. They're not even freaked out yeah. that I mean, their I'd be kids like, are my gone. Kids are gone. Somebody stole my fucking kids, is what I'd be thinking. I'm trying. Alright, I take everything back. Yeah. 
Oh, oh look at him. Oh. Too. He's trying to fucking. He's more concerned about vaping than his kids. Wow. <laughs> no, he loves his kids. Look, he's got his kids' footprints on, right his, next on his, to his chest. His cross. Mm -hmm. Bobby, <laughs> It's work. Work? Yeah. yeah. Something you wouldn't know about. Oh, and he's a dick. What do you say? Something, Something you wouldn't know about. He's literally at work, what buddy. You're the one passed out on the fucking what a beat. Fucking asshole. God. Fuck this guy. I'm, I'm these people in jail. You know, I was fully on this guy's side yeah, ten, 10 seconds ago. Now he's my least favorite person in the world. <laughs> I didn't know he had kids and he was a douche. And he doesn't <laughs> even seem to care where he don't care about his are. kids. And I guarantee you they're not from Florida, so. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. This is a. Sure I was wondering, Midwest dirtbag. <laughs> I was. I thought they got ship faced and were building sandcastles. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not very nice. I don't care. What a dick! <laughs> it can't be even be a dick when his kids not be a dick when his kids are missing. He's not. They're not even like frantic about where are my kids. They're just like. I need you to come get the kids. We have to get our boat to the rescue. Is somebody able to get the kids? Come get the kids. Why am I being arrested? You're both being fucking arrested. Uh, alcohol on the beach and yeah. child neglect. Like Can you tell them where we're at? Can you tell them where we're at? There's sure not allowed yeah. to have uh, any beer on the beach. On the beach right? It's illegal. It's illegal. Huh? Yeah, it's illegal to have alcohol on the beach. Right. It's not Is it? Yes. I thought it was not like glass. Who is so illegal? No, the fucking cops here are dickheads. <laughs> this this lady is the only fucking person that's been nice. Him, him, everybody else has been fucking dickheads. <laughs> so now we both go to fucking jail. Who the fuck is gonna bond us out? No one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then who did she have? <laughs> because they all hate you. Who did she have coming to get her kids then? If no one know. can bond her out, <laughs> and they don't even. They're still only concerned about yeah, themselves. Them, themselves they don't even they're not even like where are my seven and eight year old children <laughs> right. they almost say it like <laughs> usually just one of us goes to jail and yeah. the other one bonds us out yeah. we're both going this time now who the fuck's gonna get us out this time yeah <laughs> damn no my grandpa has to drive fucking eight hours my grandpa. to get the goddamn kids well that's you whose fault that? no i want to i want to listen to what my grandpa has to say i want to make sure my kids are fucking taken care of i don't I'm sorry, but oh. now that's how those people are. <laughs> I don't care to take care of my kids, but you fuckers better take care of my kids. I need to find out where my kids are. Yeah, Jesus. I don't trust. I don't trust them. No. In the truck. She said in the truck. Can you just wait? Can you just wait? Can you just wait? Can you just wait? I, I want to make sure my kids are fucking. We're gonna make sure they're taking care. Okay, so tell them to come over here and let me listen to what my grandpa saying. Writing down the message right now. And I can't hear okay. nothing. In the truck. I'm telling you to get in the truck, and I'd like you to get in yourself. And so that's I want to make sure my kids are okay. Oh, wait, oh, where are my kids? <laughs> Passed out on the beach. I didn't care if my kids were okay, but now. They're going to take care of them. They'll feed them. They'll clothe them. And they'll be comfortably waiting until your father. Then they'll be raped. And then. Grandfather arrives, okay? We need you to get in the truck, okay? Oh, uh, probably she, not even his kids. It's probably his girlfriend's she, kids. What's she mouthing? What's she mouth into this guy? Like something like I fucking hate you. Watch her. Was it father or grandfather arrived? I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> it's his fault now that they passed <laughs> out drunk on the beach. Okay, got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> He knocked himself out, he Trace. He knocked himself out. Uh, he face planted and knocked himself out. Uh, yeah. Where do you, you think he's going? On you got to take off before they put the handcuffs on. Handcuffs? Where are you going? What are you going to do? You gonna, <laughs> you gonna, you gonna, behind the back, you're going to get away and just be fucking wandering around with the handcuffs on? How hard is it to run with your hand behind So did it back? seem like she said, I'm going to fucking kill she you? She said, that's what she said. I'm going to fucking kill you. What are the chances you find somebody to cut your hand? Handcuffs off that aren't gonna call the police. <laughs> like, what do you chance you can outrun the police with <laughs> the handcuffs on oh. in your in your bathing suit on the beach? <laughs> call an ambulance, please. <laughs> hey, you need some smelling salts. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Narcan. Uh, did he say that? <laughs> he said something about yeah, something about yeah. Narcan. <laughs> and then Narcan and passed out, and he, <laughs> he knocked, knocked himself, himself out. out. <laughs> Look at his mugshot with his face <laughs> blackened his eyes. Yeah, there's his mugshot. <gasps> Man, he took a tumble in the sand. What an ass! What an ass! <laughs> what a couple bag. of assholes! Oh, for him, someone like him to say, "Tell a cop, oh, I got a job," unlike you or whatever he said. It's like <laughs> you're a fucking you guys had his job and you're passed out <laughs> in the fucking sand. <laughs> what an ass! What a bunch of couple mm. of assholes. <clears throat> Oh, Man, I was, coming. you know those high noons? Yeah. That I was talking all that shit about? Uh-huh. Well, I was out on my boat yesterday and I, you know, there was no beer left in the cooler except for a high noon. Mm-hmm. God, that was fucking gross, man. I didn't, I, <laughs> you know, I've been desperate for alcohol and drinking wine and even got drunk on a glass of champagne, a bottle of champagne one time, but that was dog <laughs> shit. I couldn't, I didn't drink like a quarter of the can and fucking threw it out. That really? was dog shit. I don't think I've ever had one. Ugh. I think there's one cold out in the fridge out there. I'm going to go get it and taste it next. I'm going to go get it. Bring it back and taste it. See what this high moon hype is about. What'd you say say for like a twelve pack? It was like thirty bucks. Thirty two dollars. <laughs> and what are they? Are they it's like a, flavored uh, vodka? It's it's vodka like, seltzer. Everybody's it's all everybody's on the seltzer kick. I guess be, I, you know, I'm defending people in the chat, but like fo I don't I don't I'm not into the seltzer. I don't know. I mean, I expect you got to drink a bunch of that stuff. It's, like, yeah. it's not something you can drink a lot. It's like, I can't even explain it. It's got this weird fizzy. I love, I drink, it's supposed to be like a seltzer water. Yeah. I drink soda water. Like when I go out, like even to a restaurant, I get soda water. I drink like eight cans <laughs> of soda water a day. And I can't, ugh. <laughs> Ew, that that soda water yeah, without. I'm gonna, oh, I'm ew. gonna go get that high noon and try it in a minute. All right, let's take a break. It's getting late. Be right back with more cluster F. Hello, yes. Good morning. Morning. Yes. Uh, this is uh, President Bill Clinton. Hello. Yes. Uh, I- I'm calling to see if you'd be interested in being a contestant in the Who Will Be the Last Nationality to Suck My Dick competition. What is it? You know, it's coming down to the wire, and I think you have a very good chance of winning. Right. You, an Egyptian woman, could be the last one to blow the president of the United States of America. What do you think of that? Right. First prize, I, I won't kill you. Hello? Who is speaking? Uh, president uh, Bill Clinton of the United States of America, thank you very much. Yeah? Look, I, I, I'm looking for a good time. You, you are looking for what? Uh, a good time. Uh, I'm looking to party, if you know what party? I mean. Party? Yes. Haven't. Do you party? You know what I mean? No. Get high? No. What? No. Well, co- look, I, I've, I've, been, I've been stuck in a conference room for 15 hours with Yasser Arafat. Yasser? Yes. It, Jesus Christ, that, that guy smells like 50 pounds of camel shit. Yeah? I, t- I tell you, the Israelis ought to quit shooting rubber bullets at the Palestinians. And fucking spray him with disinfectant. Jesus. Just launch a couple hundred bars of soap at those assholes and watch them scatter. I mean, now I know why the Sphinx is missing his nose. If I had to live here, I'd cut my fucking nose off too. Nasty. But but, but I digress. Uh, Could I get a whore to uh, suck me off? From what? From where? No, look, I am President Bill Clinton of the United States of America. Bill Clinton? (laughs) Uh, I see my reputation precedes me. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> uh, what's your name, darling? Soha. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. You sound beautiful. You are American? Yes, I am. I am. I am the president. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, you would know differently. You, you are joking. Uh, no, I'm not joking. No, you are okay, I'm sure. If you saw me with my pants unzipped, you uh, might be whistling a different tune. Hello. Hello? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes, I fucked you. This is uh, Bill Clinton in room um, uno, uh, Dodi Fayed, and I've, I've been in intense negotiations involving global peace for two days. 
this is what I need. I need some rest. So could you please send me up uh, the sarcophagus of Tutankhamun, a pocket pussy, and a do not disturb sign? I'd be very uh, appreciative of that. You, you. Where are you from? United States of America. United States. What's you, your name? William Jefferson Clinton. Ah, uh, you contacted me before. I know. Your voice. I tell you, you are joking. Your, your voice is like the, the Nile flowing gently over my penis. <laughs> You have a lovely laugh. <laughs> you have to come to see you. I would love okay? to. I'd love to come to see you. It's okay. I am waiting for you. Yeah, you are my kind of woman. Uh, <laughs> wh- what do you look like? Nevertiti. Oh my goodness, Nefertiti's. <laughs> you know Nevertiti? Oh man, I'm not up on my uh, Egyptian mythology, but I believe she's the uh, goddess of sucking dick. Yeah. Are you, are you talking dirty to me? <laughs> you have to come. Uh, oh, be- believe me, I will come. <laughs> like you've never, well, like you've never well, seen. You are coming. Oh, right now, I'm almost there. Speak Egyptian to me. Tell you what? Um, tell me, my penis is as big as the Great Pyramids. <laughs> Anything. It's just a management. Hello, hello. I'm still hello? here. I'm still here, darling. I'm looking for a Cairo crank off. <laughs> a Nile River rim job, if you know what I mean. Sorry. Could you, could you help me out with that? Could well, you give me your phone number? Oh, I, you want my phone number? Yeah. You know, but I, I'm I'm President Bill Clinton. You are a President Bill Clinton? Bill, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome Clinton. I miss you very much. You love me? <laughs> Join the crowd. I am Monica. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you want to be Monica? Oh my God! Uh, believe it or not, I have never uh, received oral sex from an Egyptian woman before. <laughs> do uh, Egyptian? Okay, I I am so busy. Do Egyptian women uh, gi- do they give good head? <laughs> do they? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, you do. Well, I got fifty drachmas and a Cuban cigar. I'll meet you in ten minutes, honey. Bye. Goodbye. Hello. Yes, I have a car bomb in my pants, and I'm looking for a girl on a suicide mission. (laughs) Hello? Damn it. It's Pharrell on Hour 101. What's up? It's Pharrell. Sh- 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 shake it out. We got a great show coming up on Hour. It's time for the first family feud. Featuring this week's contestants, the Clintons versus the Reagans. And now, the host of First Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Welcome back to the conclusion of First Family Feud. Reagan family, you have two strikes. There's one more answer left on the board. If you get it right, you'll be the winners. Miss it, and the Clintons have a chance to steal. Okay, Ronnie, name something you would find... On a woman's dress. Oh my, yes. Um, on a dress. Yes, a dress. Uh, 14351 Elm Street. Something found on a woman's dress. You say 1435 Elm Street. Survey says... <coughs> Sorry, Reagans. Clintons, here's your chance to steal. Name something you might find... On a woman's dress. My semen. Buttons. 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 Come stay. I'm saying Come buttons. Flowers. Come stay. Buttons. Come stay. Semen. Come stay. Come stay. Shut up, Bill. Buttons. All right, Clintons, I need your answer. All right, as usual, we're going to go with Hillary since she fucking knows everything and say buttons. Although cum stains is a much better answer. Buttons. You say buttons. Survey says... <laughs> Buttons is correct. Clinton's on to the lightning round. Who's going to play? 
Um, let's start off with Roger, and I'll uh, finish it off with the big money. Okay, Roger, we surveyed 100 people. The top five answers on the board. 20 seconds. Let's go. Name something you might trip over. Um, um, a bag of cocaine. Name something you do with a cigar. Stick it in a whore. Name something you liked. A crack pipe. Name a popular job. A drug dealer. A pickup line in a bar. If I give you some cocaine, will you suck my dick? All right, Roger. Very good. Let's bring out Bill. See if he can win those $5,000. 20 seconds on the clock. And begin. Something you trip over. A bag of cocaine. Um, Vince Foster's body. Name something you do with a cigar. Uh, stick it in a whore. Um, pass. Name something you light. Your draft card. Name a popular job. Blowjob. Name a pickup line in a bar. If I give you some cocaine, will you suck my dick? Uh, um, would you like some cocaine? Would you suck my dick? Suck me, suck me off now. Hey, bounce these balls off your chin. Who's gonna suck my dick? Sushi bar's open, who wants fresh trouser trout? Oh, shit. Sorry, Bill, Roger had already taken all the answers with suck my dick and cocaine in them. Better luck next time on the fuck. Family, you! The ring until now. It's Jesus Christ versus Allah in WWE's Holy War One. You hear me, Titus? You hear me? I'm here to kick ass and eat falafel. And I'm all out of falafel. WWE's Holy War One. This is for all the little Christomaniacs out there. I'm gonna take this cross, turn it sideways, and stick it up your candy Muslim ass. Jesus versus Allah in a tag team championship of the universe. Featuring Hulk Hogan and Randy Macho Man Savage. I used to think Islam was cool. You know, dudes like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Ahmad and Shad. I thought we could be brothers, but then I read the Quran. I read all about you guys getting 70 virgins up in heaven, and I realized, how can I be brothers with somebody who's hogging up all that ass, dude? WWE's Holy War One. It's gonna be a mother. Oh yeah, I dig it. I used to be down with you, Jesus. Oh yeah, Macho Man used to be down with Jesus. I used to say my prayers every night, yeah. But then, that one Christmas, all I asked for was a puppy. A cute, cuddly little puppy. But when Macho Man woke up, there was nothing under the Christmas tree. Nothing, Jesus. Nothing. Oh, you're thinking about Santa Claus, dumbass. Ooh. Two supreme beings, two legendary wrestlers, locked in an epic battle for the ages. Let me tell you something, Jesus. Bow down to the mighty Allah and feel the power of my 13-inch tampons. That's pythons, dude. Who is the one true God? What better way to find out than in the squared circle? I'm declaring a jihad on your ass, dude. Listen, Jesus, I got one thing. No, two things. No, three things. Woo! No, 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 you listen to me, Allah. You're a heathen, a barbarian, and a false prophet. And in the words of Luke 316, suck it! WWE's Holy War One. Oh, yeah, snap into the Christ child. WWE's Holy War One, presented by Skittles this Sunday. Welcome back to Cluster F. Don't forget to in your head tomorrow morning, 745. A couple brand new songs, a little Metallica and the little Steve Miller band, Jungle Love. I'm going to try an ice cold high noon, Trace. Oh. Yeah. Ice cold. Black cherry sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. Made with real juice. 
vodka with real fruit juice. Sparkling water and natural flavors. I can't wait to, to try this high noon. It's going to be delicious. I did get a grapefruit one as well. So I did, That didn't sound good at all. No, <laughs> it wasn't. I still don't think that's going to be good. I'm not even going to taste it. There's just something, right? Not, I mean, I could drink one of these, maybe. That, um, Weston says Dad maybe. likes them. He's drank plenty of mine and says they're good. This test is not good. It's not good. You think black cherry <laughs> would be good? I've had the one pineapple, but it's not this. It's a different brand. It's the pineapple, and it's okay. But I would never drink more than one, and I would never, well, act, and I would never go out of my way to drink one. They're four point five, so you, you know, just to be feeling something, you'd have to drink like five to six of those just to be buzzing a little bit. Crystal Gale says, "Read the ingredients." Ass, ass, and ass. ass. <laughs> it's too small. The ingredients. I mean, light. Give it to Trace. No, it doesn't ship. We're not, we're not fucking ingredients. I thought he already read the ingredients. It says, oh, it did. <clears throat> no high fruct- fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors. Sugar, 2.8 grams. It does, and it says vodka with real fruit juice, sparkling water, and natural flavors. I guess that's it. 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. If, uh, you know, if I was somewhere and it was the only thing in the cooler. Do you feel more homosexual now? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, yeah, I wouldn't order it out in public ever. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. It's just the Lauren's got one before. I don't know which one it which one it was, but I was like, "Oh, all right, this isn't terrible." Yeah, it's yeah. I could drink it. Some one I, of those I just seltzers. Don't, I just, I don't, I'd much rather drink beer. I think beer tastes much better. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So no Ohio. It's, uh, plus, it's more expensive. Forget that. Way more. No way, but. Ma'am, Are don't you, forget to get to let me know if you want your name left on the wall. Get, get your name. another the the rest of this week and next week, and then it's there's going to be could be some prime spots opening up. Get in, get your prime real estate. <laughs> let me know. Uh, message on Facebook or on here, and I got my list. Got my list of everybody on the wall, and I've got. Several people that have already paid, so it's a hundred dollars to get your name on the wall, or to uh, maintain maintain your name on the wall. Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Sounds about maintain. right. Sounds right. <laughs> Something like that. You gotta make it sound funner. Well, I'm trying to help you. Have you guys chime in and help me? <laughs> I but did. nobody I said, will. <laughs> I said a bunch of shit about the wall. Just... I'm banned from wallness. Uh, I was my original idea, and then I got all into it and started. I wasn't doing it nice enough and right enough, so I got kicked off of wall privileges. Yeah, you do. You do shitty work. Yeah, you, you get horrible. <laughs> I'm, a I'm not going to do it. Uh, um, your mom will do a bunch of better job than I'll do it. And well, I'll because it if up. people are paying to have their name, they yeah. want it to look good. Yeah, they don't want why. it to be like something you can't hardly even read. Yeah, you I should do on a cursive, babe. You know, you've got very nice cursive writing. You could pay yeah. extra charge, like an extra ten bucks <laughs> to do a fancy hundred and ten for fan for calligrapher Donna's calligraphy. <laughs> Not calligraphy. You can't read that. <laughs> Here's a, you know, the latest the latest Biden moment. Is he gonna make out with this kid? So he's up on stage <laughs> for some kind of bullshit. <laughs> and he gets distracted. Wonders. You know, he gets distracted easily together but we know that there is still work and he's like i see a baby i see a baby (laughs) we know that the president's vision values his commitment to faith family and hard work are what's going to continue to propel the latino vote this election cycle what a lunatic i mean (laughs) he just Oh, what a maniac. He just went to go talk to that girl. Yeah, he wanted to get a uh, kiss on that baby. Yeah. Who, who knows? Who knows? 
So <laughs> they're just going for the Latino vote? Is that what everybody's going for? I mean, these people coming in here, can they vote illegally? Illegal aliens? <laughs> can they vote now? Is that a thing? I know they can drive. See, they're, see, they're out there doing that. I don't know, you know, as much as you hear about, you know, it's the replacement theory, they're going to, you know, replace, they're going to get so many votes from these illegal immigrants that, that, you know, the Democrats will never lose. And that's the spiel. And I think that's a really, I don't think that's the reason they're letting I don't either because I don't believe voting's real. Yeah, I don't believe voting's real. That's a real convoluted way. Okay, so you got to let in millions of people of who you don't even know who they are and you're going to trust that they're going to be responsible to pay you back for the free shit that you're giving with um a vote yeah they're going to take time out of their freeloading you know Im illegal immigrant day right and go vote for you because you're giving them a check you know it's i don't i don't think that's the way it, there's a ton of people on government assistance throughout the United States, Americans who don't vote. The voting isn't they don't on, vote. on their priority list. They, they, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't think that, I think they just steal the elections. It's, it's all, yeah. the, every election in every city is controlled by the government. Mm -hmm. There's not, it's, it's all controlled by the government. The government is completely corrupt in every city. The national government is collect, correct, uh, corrupt. I don't understand how anybody thinks any election is legitimate ever you for the get, last 50 years. I don't think maybe the last 200 years. Yeah. Maybe it's never been. Maybe it's never been. It's never, if Mark Twain. I guarantee the, there's some some cor something that went on, you know, during the first election that was corrupt. I mean. Look, just look at your your school elections. It's the school president. They have the election. Everybody votes in the government. Where, um, and the, uh, where do the votes go? They go up to the office. What happens to the votes then? Nobody knows. <laughs> it's the same exact thing. You don't know where the... You know, who's your election supervisor? He's usually a Republican or a Democrat. And his, you know, if his job depends on who gets gets elected you don't think he's going to interfere it's insane it's almost insanity to believe and and as united states citizens we believe that most elections throughout the world are fake mm -hmm. when we see the bad guy that we've been told is the bad guy when 90 percent we're like yeah that's fake but we would never think it about us and we probably have our <laughs> dirty hands in some of you know a oh, lot of their fake elections hell yeah we do there's something you know we did it. We did that in um. In, I've been in thinking, the Ukraine. I've been thinking about being a cheater, but it just I just I can't do it, man. I don't have the cheating <laughs> gene have the in cheating me. Gene, I'm sorry, I didn't give it to you. I've like when we were doing the poker the other day. Remember we were playing? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I took I took a couple extra cards and put them under my leg. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna just destroy this next round with my cheating <laughs> cards, and I just couldn't do it. I had all the cards over here. Yeah. I was the dealer. He was picking up cards. <laughs> I don't even remember and where it, I put my cards. And I was like, I could just, I could like have four kings right now. <laughs> but I didn't. I just, that was no fun. That's, I don't want to ruin the game by cheating. I think at one point I ended up with one extra card accidentally. Yeah. And I discarded <laughs> the worst card I had. It was a little <laughs> cheat, but I. It's a little bit of cheat. <laughs> it wasn't a very serious game of poker. No, not at all. We should see we have to, something has to be at stake. I was thinking I was yeah. thinking the next time we do the bar show, it's like um if you lose the poker hand, you have to either freestyle or do a karaoke song. Yeah. And that would give people Let's everybody just bring some ones. I wanna get rich. Yeah, yeah, we got, <laughs> bring some ones. We'll have like a, a twenty dollar limit. We bring twenty ones. Cluster F poker night. I don't know if you're allowed to do that on, uh, on the air. That's a good question. Yeah, we could do the karaoke deal. Well, but yeah, let's see. Let's figure out. What, but they we'll play, play poker on on TV. Just regulated and san <laughs> sanctioned by the government. Oh, Only geez. if the government allows them. The young, the 
small guy playing for dollar bills at home is going to get arrested. Now, if you could cheat the casino, you would, right? Like, I, I, you oh, know, hell, I got a, yeah. I got a moral hell, compass yeah. different than the average person. Like, if I'm playing with my friends on a yeah. poker game, maybe no, if I see that everyone's kind of cheating, then I'll get in on it. But I'm going to play normal. Yeah. But if I, I could... I anything to beat the casino. I don't care how bad I cheat. Yeah, I would count them I cards. Could not care less. Cheat, cheat those cheat because they're. I mean, their business is cheating people out of their money. I mean, the people are willing, but they're. You know, you walk in the, the casino and they're like, "Yeah, there's a ninety percent chance that you're gonna lose." Yeah, what you know. does counting cards mean? That's I why I can't go to the casino like, anymore. You can't tell what other people have in their hand, so how could you count cards? I thought it would be like, okay, I know three fours were used, or three. That's not counting cards, right? What no. is counting cards? It's too complex for you to understand. If, <laughs> if you're if you're playing blackjack, see everybody's cards are sh at the end are shown. You have to flip them up. Yeah, they're shown at the end. Yeah, that doesn't so, help, yeah. So you've played a hand of blackjack and you've seen the, the <laughs> like the 16 cards that were dealt. Yeah. So you in your mind you know what's left in the deck. They don't put them all back in the deck? I don't know. I don't know how it I works. I mean otherwise the it's game is the, that That's hand is it. that hand is over. You wouldn't I don't know how I wouldn't card. be looking at cards no, then. I count the cards sometimes when I go to the casino and other times I get kicked out just when I walk in for looking too smart. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> what is counting cards? Like, yeah, I can count cards. What is counting cards? I mean, I could I obviously <laughs> never do that since I don't even know what it means, but something about probability. I yeah, it's like <laughs> How do you keep that straight in your mind? Well, they say, that would be so hard. And Dion's bathtub says, nope, they keep loading new decks of cards. Well, what cards are you counting? <laughs> what cards are you counting? Yeah. Is that in just one hand? You can I mean, figure well, how are you counting I... cards when you don't see the cards? And you... I don't know what you're talking you about. You know, <laughs> like I, I've watched a whole movie on counting cards and I don't get it. So you guys <laughs> just give up. Okay. <laughs> Realize it's too hard for you to do. I I accepted it a long time ago. <laughs> okay, I was you know I was gonna <laughs> I was planning on making a career out of it, but I'm, <laughs> now I'm not. I'd be the worst card card counter ever. <laughs> so these these are the stories that I've seen in the last few days. Somebody made a made a, a little collage of them. Um, sunbathing for just one day increases your risk of heart disease. And stops the body fighting infections, study Wait, says. What? Say that again. Sunbathing for so just one day. So going in the sun, now yeah. they're saying it's bad? That's what they're saying. Huh. Increases your risk of heart disease and stops the body from fighting infections. I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe it either. It also says, here's another one. Intermitting, intermittent fasting linked to 91% increase in risk of death from heart disease. So it's like people a, that things that people figured out to do themselves for, for their they're health. saying is bad. It's, I mean, if we were all, you know, born from organisms and all this, the sun wouldn't be bad for you. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. I mean, can you imagine, you know, if a primitive man, which is how man was meant to be, that you know, that's yeah. how we evolved and we were primitive man we evolved and with we the sun. we spent a lot of time looking for food and growing food and that was our main thing out in the sun you know mm -hmm. we were at we you know then the, you know, the evening we go find some shelter so I, yeah i don't believe that at all it's like the sun mm. i feel great when i'm out in the sun yeah. it makes me feel alive marijuana use yeah. as little as once per month linked <laughs> to higher risk of heart attack and stroke huh. where are they get where is this coming from all these stats this these CBC? are studies, oh. studies Gosh. and studies in the United States. I do States. all those things <laughs> more than anyone. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. It, it, these studies, you know, I mean, you know, there is no science anymore because all these studies are paid for yeah. mm -hmm. to get the results that whoever wants, whoever pays for the study, they get the results they want. And, you know, if you're a scientist... 
you're not going to be the guy that that doesn't that loses his job because you didn't say what the big pockets wanted you to say. And you it's, don't know how many scientists have lost their jobs and quit because yeah, of that they're not this bullshit. T- they're not gonna, ever going to tell you. There could be, you know, you we shit. could have a shortage of scientists because, you know, five thousand scientists quit because they didn't want to give up the bullshit that's lies. Not, that's not how it works. It's not. Well, I'm just saying there could be, and we, they would never tell us. We'd never even know it. Nope. COVID vaccines found to cut risk of heart failure blood and blood clots. Cut risks? Yeah. Oh, see? See, everything, yeah. everything is a big, it's a big <laughs> giant scam. God, man, it really is. I mean. Don't go in the sun. Don't go in the sun. One of the healthiest things for you. Vitamin D, the thing that that helps your body fight off, you know, infection. Vitamin D, don't get that. That's what they told you during COVID. Stay inside. Yeah. Don't get any sun. Mm-hmm. Be as vul- with vul- Stay inside with other sick people and don't get sun. That's what that was their advice. That yeah. was their fucking advice. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna do all those things a lot more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's getting summertime. I'm going to start laying out on the trampoline, getting that vet, get that vitamin D up. We were watching this thing about uh, last night on the news about the city of Clearwater, which is real close in the Tampa Bay area. Yeah. And they had this, they paid millions, like <laughs> tens of millions of dollars to this company to study what they need, you know, what what they needed to do about global warming. Oh, God. And the company came out with all these suggestions <laughs> and everything, and, you know, they're, they're saying what they can do to cut the greenhouse gases in the city of Clearwater, and it's like, the city of Clearwater ain't doing shit to stop global warming. The but, guy said we uh, need to cut gas. Oh, did you just say that? that? What that one guy stood up and said, we need to... Do something to help with the greenhouse gases. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. And it's like they need to start building seawalls. Yeah. Be a realist. There's nobody going to stop global warming. India and China. Certainly not in just one city. And one city ain't doing shit. But you're going to spend millions of dollars, you know, to prevent sea rise. Well, if the sea's going to rise, it's going to rise. Yeah. And humans aren't going to do nothing about it. And just by human nature, the governments are going to steal all the money. So you need to get the governments to start building walls and, you know, putting houses up on stilts and shit. Because that's what's if it's going to happen, how much it's going to happen. Gonna it, I don't you. know if it's going to happen, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And we can't stop it. Yeah. How much how much is the sea risen? I, I've heard that the sea hasn't really gone up any in the past 20 years. I mean, I, I mean, when they talk about it, I feel like I've heard them say only, you know, like a three quarters of an inch. Yeah, Oof. something like that. And I think they just, you know, I think they go down to these places, on, you know, like every day, high tide and low tide aren't the same. You know, I don't know if everybody knows that. A lot of people, anybody who boats probably knows it. But, you know, sometimes, depending on the time of year, it's higher high tide, lower low tide. I think they just go down there at the highest high tide of the year and show people's yards flooding. They're like, look at the look at the global warming. Yeah, they could definitely do that. You could be right. I could see that. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I was looking for something about it. This guy had a great take on global warming, but I don't have it. Um, <clears throat> he's saying that if if uh, they were really worried about global warming and sea rise, that all the contracts and all the real estate dealings and everything here on the coast would have this clause about sea rise, because you're selling property and dealing with things that are gonna that could potentially not even exist allegedly in ten years. Yeah. They could be washed away, but there's not one company that says anything at all in any financial agreement regarding global warming because and 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 you don't think these motherfuckers would be covering their ass yeah are you are you are you shitting me these Mm -hmm. giant corporations wouldn't be like we're not going to lose a dime of global warming we're going to put this in banks wouldn't be lending money banks would not be lending money that they own they own those properties when they when people are you know covered in water 
they're just mo- leaving usually yeah. Yeah. and the banks are stuck holding the bag so banks don't aren't in that business these are these banks are all about regulating their losses and you know that kind of thing you know just like you have to have insurance if you have a mortgage they make you you know there's no way around it because they make sure they cover their ass but banks are still lending money to people buying property real close to the water right right on the water yeah all these and all these people like Barack Obama. He's got you know he you know, a couple of years ago he bought a big twelve million dollar house by the sea. It's like all these people that are, claim that the sea rise is going to be catastrophic own multi million dollar houses on the beach. Yeah. that's all you need to know. Yeah, and I don't really want to talk to you if you can't see that kind of logic. Well, I mean, if you, I've been out to Pine Island, been going there for you know fifteen years. And these houses, a lot of those houses are right on, right next to the water. Yeah. And they've been there for, you know, between I've been 50, going there since I was in high school. I'd say 50 to 100 years, some of those houses. Yeah. And they're not getting close to, they've been there for a long fucking long time. time. And the, you know, the seawall there is old as shit. You know, it's not getting overflown by the, it just doesn't seem like the, the sea's raise, rising at all. But I mean, it's possible, and you know what? There ain't nothing you ain't nothing you can do about it. Let's <laughs> just get real. This is you know, the human nature, government stealing the money. Ain't nothing gonna happen about that. I mean, they're not doing. They think that if they think that in the world you can stop global warming by one city doing anything, you can't. They'd be lucky to. I don't even know if they could stop it. First of all, you gotta. <laughs> Be, even begin to get the whole world in on it, and that ain't, that hasn't ain't even gonna, happened. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know? It's not gonna happen. So, yeah. Well, Ink Spike says the sea has risen by an eighth of a Corona bottle. <laughs> 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 Gom says I call bullshit on. It. He said my 85 year old grandmother <laughs> just lost her leg from a blood clot, and my 40 year old cousin just had four strokes from blood clots, but she's obese. But they both were vaccinated. Uh, you don't know what clot. to believe. You can yeah. get, you can go on the internet and you can see pictures of like coroners who uh, posting pictures of clots and saying we've never seen this before. Yeah. I don't know if that's real. I don't know if it's not real. Could be. That could be real. I would believe that, but I can't believe it because the internet is a cesspool of lies. So I don't know. But I've seen. I've certainly seen it. I mean, I think back to the. You know, global warming or the, that the ocean rising deal. I'm just gonna take it. You know, I'm not gonna care about what anybody says. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on the ocean. <laughs> you know, and if it if I see it raising too much, then we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll go back to it and maybe think about being concerned about it. But at this point, I'm saying it's fine. I but, you know I mean, you know they, they there will be storms that that you know recently there seem to be a lot of storms that are stronger but in every event every flood every storm they'll say this is a f- the first time that this river has overflowed like this since 1928 okay well in 1928 it did the same shit yeah you know it's like <laughs> thing, you know things happen I mean I think one to two inches of sea level rising is acceptable a year. One inch a year? I don't know I about think, that. I don't think that okay. would do too much. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> After 20 years, you'd be like, oh, man. Fucking. That's a not a long time, 20 years. You gotta, I know. Yeah. you got to build a little higher in 20 <laughs> years. <laughs> I think an inch a year is, I don't know. I mean, it, might be, it might be end up being a lot, buddy. You swallow the steak <laughs> eventually. Yeah. You I see this story? It's like this story is like almost unfathomable. It says an Ohio toddler died after her mom left her home alone while she took a 10-day vacation. It said she left, she left the kid home with a f- in a playpen with a few bottles of milk. So it's a 16, 16-month-old. I mean... A neighbor's doorbell camera captured the 16-month-old's frequent screams. She was How a, long till they called somebody? I don't know if the neighbors they didn't they never I don't know if the neighbors heard it but they they never called anybody. They said they heard the oh the, the okay they said later, the ring doorbell. Maybe. I don't know if they checked the yeah. 
Um, after a few days at the beach and another stop in Detroit, she returned home ten days later to find her daughter dead. Huh. What an idiot. Yeah. What's her name? Uh, what's her name? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Crystal Candelario. Mm. Crystal Candelario. Guilty. I mean, you're guilty and you're fucking... You gotta have, like... Fuck. I worry about, like, my dog and my fish when I leave for two days. Like, well, this, you how do you... How do you just not even work? You know? I don't even understand what kind of person you are. Think What kind of person... Not only what... You're obviously a fucking idiot, but... Why aren't you concerned about why uh, have why aren't you worried that okay she might drink this the first day and you know people do let's see how maybe she looked at how long does it take for a 1 year old to die yeah. when they're not eating you know does she she Are didn't she, even she, think any of it through cuz she, she's such an idiot is, is she yeah you think she's just like a sociopath or is she that stupid? Fucking stupid, right? And if you're that's that so sad to think stupid. someone's so stupid, you, you can't be that <laughs> stupid. You can't. You wouldn't be able to afford a, a job and an apartment and a vacation right? if you're how's that she, How's that stupid. bitch going on vacation? I, is, I God. It says here the forensic a forensic pathologist said that the children experience the most extreme separation anxiety between nine and eighteen months. And the pain and suffering she endured lasted not only hours, but days, possibly even a week. The feeling of abandonment for days on end and the pain of starvation and extreme thirst is the type of suffering I don't think any of us could fully fathom. How old was the child? 16, uh, uh, yeah, 16 months. God, almost two. So, and not, and really. not only is she a fucking moron, does she have, who'd she go with? Does she have family oh, that yeah, knew she was on vacation? They're like, hey, where's uh, Guadalupe? And they're like, she's like, oh, she's at home. I, I'm on vacation. What? <laughs> when they, what? What are you talking about? It says uh, she, uh, video shows her getting in her car on June 6th with a suitcase and returning home on June 16th. She Minutes after she returned, she called 911. Please, I need, I need help. My daughter is dying. Please, please, please. Dying. So she wasn't dead? So who did she go on vacation with? Or, you know, did she go by herself? I, and she has no know. relatives that say, asked yeah. where the child is. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? They said they found the, the child lying on a mattress covered in urine and feces. Mm. Did she I mean, leave her in a crib or? I mean, in a playpen. It's like, yeah, uh. I mean, a kid can't change his own diaper at 16 months. So not what, even, I mean, kind of I mean, not even just for like, you I know, think she survival wanted. purposes. Like if me and Lauren go somewhere and then we're like, oh, let's get a hotel and we stay there. And then it's the next day. Even like then I'm like, oh, fucking poor Rosie just fucking cooped up in the house for a day and a half. But, I mean, the dog's fucking laying on a king size bed fucking sleeping and I'm worried. Yeah. Like the- yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or maybe she wanted her kid to die. Maybe that was her plan all along. I don't know how she would think she'd get away with it coming back and your child emaciated. She's just going to say, oh, something. I don't know what's wrong. Her mother said her daughter had battled health struggles, including mental health issues mm. and fainting spells. When her daughter stopped taking medication, it worsened her depression and anxiety oh. and contributed to her inability to make sound decisions. Oh, really? But she went on vacation. wonder how she did on vacation. Was she able to feed herself? Uh-huh. If she's able to feed herself, then aren't you able to feed someone else? What does this I, lady do where she it, she can't it, she can afford to go on vacation for ten days? It's this, right? lady, it's this lady right here. This lady right here. I don't understand how they act like you know all these people with mental health issues. They seem to be able to take care of themselves <laughs> and do you know everyday activities, but illegal I, things seems to be what the problem is. <laughs> I, How I, is that? I mean, there's just no, you know, you think everything about leaving a toddler for 10 days, you know, you, you couldn't be in any kind of right mind to think that that would work out. Right. To think that that's you're a good, good decision. I mean, just, you know, just the, 
The diaper. What is your the job? Does I it just want to know what her job is. Or what her it job does not say, say anything no, like that. I don't know nothing about this bitch. Oh, what she, is her um, name? Her name is Crystal with a K. K R I S T E L. Candel. C A N D E L. A R I O. Ohio. She's yeah, from Ohio. look this bitch up. She, she went on vacation. Uh, she's typical a, Ohio person. Vacation in. Puerto Rico. Where's that bat? <laughs> what do you call a person from Ohio? An Ohioan? Ohioan. Ohioan. Ohioan? Ohioan. It is, no, you're fucking with me, right? No, it is. It's Ohioan. 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 <laughs> it sounds kind of stupid. <laughs> it sounds real stupid. But it's, a, it's an Ohioan. <laughs> Ohioan. Oh. I don't believe you. She traveled to both Puerto Rico and Detroit. So she left the country. She thought that was a good idea. Ten days. Ten days. <clears throat> like Trace said, I wouldn't. I mean, can you imagine? I would leaving your dogs with, and you give them like two bowls of dog food and a cup, you know, one bowl of water, and you leave them for ten days. I mean, you can't take care of a kid and not mm. think that's a bad idea. But you have a job that lets you just. Be a world traveler. Like what? I want to know, know what I, she does. I, I always want to know what these people like. You know, we were watching like the street racing in Tampa. They're trying to crack down on it, where they shut down the intersections and yeah. do the donuts. And so the the police helicopter sees this lime green Mustang, you know, brand new, tricked out lime green Mustang, and they follow it and they you know t- arrest them and they confiscate the car. And it shows these two punks. Yeah. Like, How that car's got to be. Eighty thousand dollars, right? All, all these kids yeah. that How do they, these, the are these guys? <laughs> street things all have very expensive cars. I don't understand. What are it. these thugs doing so that hmm. they can buy an eighty thousand dollar Mustang? Well, I drove by the Bushnell High, the high school in Bushnell, and I mean, I'm talking like we've like what just Webster, which is right down the street. It's like is a very poor kind of city you know all mm-hmm. the whole area isn't you know most people are poor but you drive by that high school yeah and yeah. every car and every truck and there's barely any cars first Ultra. of all yeah. but i mean i'm talking these hundred thousand dollar trucks you know how they do now with the the wheels that stick out far mm-hmm. yeah. and the lift kit and That's the a whole a truck's a hundred like a truck trick truck truck is a hundred grand now i mean there was a hundred hundred grand trucks in that fucking parking lot i what and these are, these are you know, high schoolers. None of them are paying for it. How, what, what parents just... <laughs> every parent in Bushnell buys their kid a $100,000 car when they turn 16? That doesn't seem reasonable. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. That's crazy. The, um, the evidence from Crystal, and they captured her... On camera, smiling and partying with <laughs> friends during her vacation in Puerto Rico. Not even thinking about her little baby starving to death. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you're that crazy. She looks like know. an idiot. Uh, or that, I, you can't <laughs> be that stupid. Yeah, I, I want to know. So, the, can we? That's the website I'm interested in. What the, What do these crazy, murderous, weird psychopaths all around America do for a living? You know when yeah. they got when they got cars and homes and vacations. What what uh, I, I could do that job better. What is it? <laughs> here's a here's something exciting. You want to see a TikToker advising illegal aliens on how to overtake America's homes via progressive mm. squatters' rights laws. <laughs> so he's telling them how to do it. That he, guy should have his head. <laughs> he boasts mm. that his friends already took over seven homes. I don't know if it's got any... Uh, that pisses me off. Oh. <laughs> uh, look at him. Look, I was making me mad Fucking just looking at him. Piece of shit. It's good. I gotta have to read it. Mi gente, I've thought about... Una casa in, en invading a house in the United States. Ya que me enteré there, que una ley there is a que law dice que si una that, casa that no says if the house is not inhabited, we can seize it. In the United States, it also applies the land invasion. I think that will be 
my next business, invading <laughs> abandoned houses since I've looked for some codes with my friends, Africans, and they told me that they have already taken about seven houses. All right, so that's, see, I don't understand why there are squatting laws at all. I mean, I can't even wrap my mind around it. That's not, th there shouldn't be. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. When, and when is it, when did they come up with squatters rights in, you know, in 1765, <laughs> you know, 200 years later, we can't revamp <laughs> these squatters laws. Nobody should be squatting on nothing. Squatting was for when you moved, it, you, you, you found an abound, abandoned log cabin in Wyoming, a hundred miles from anybody, and they lived there I mean, for twenty years. Look, and the owner came back, and they said, two They said, no, the owner can't kick you out. You've been here twenty years. He didn't even know you were here for twenty years. It's not affecting nobody. That's the only reason it was for. Mm -hmm. Why is? Why do we still have them? I mean, it's just like what, this, this is a man. It's they're trying to fuck shit up, man. They Intention, can't intentionally because, trying to fuck shit up. I mean, up. does that sound like a, an American thing? Don't go on vacation, or your house will be stolen by foreigners. Yeah, like, <laughs> or drug addicts. There's nothing we can do about it. It's I not think, I think, right. I think uh, yeah, you might come, somebody might come up with a good black market businesses business stuff. We'll get those people out of your fucking house for five hundred bucks. Yeah, and I'm it'll take us ten one. minutes. Yeah. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, me and my two friends who are six foot three, two hundred and twenty pounds, we'll get the, that that guy out in ten minutes yeah. for five hundred dollars. I'm charging a thousand. I, I think you could charge a thousand. Probably, well, it's their house. You probably charge you two charge grand. A lot, yeah, let's get that fucker out. Yeah, that's this is an intentionally intentionally trying to ruin America. These are the most despicable people in the history of the world. Who are you gonna vote for? Which despicable person are you gonna vote for? Who's gonna have you? He ain't no. Whoever you vote for ain't changing the squatters' laws. I ain't even thinking about it. Gosh, should I vote? Who vo who in the chat votes? Like, is that like, is it worth doing? Like, you know, I feel like I'm, I feel like the vote doesn't count and it's fucking stupid yeah. to do. But is that yeah. what they want you to think so you don't vote? But or they, does it even fucking matter at all? No. I don't. I've never voted because it fucking just doesn't. I'm like it's just fucking all made up. But I don't think a lot of people voted. I'm still on the fence about whether I'm gonna vote. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking it's like, hey, you know, they got, they're kind of pissing me off. So I'll vote, even if it doesn't count, I'm going to go ahead and vote just because you're telling me that I'm a certain way when I'm not. So I'm like, fuck you. I'm going to vote yeah. <laughs> that way, even though it probably doesn't matter. But I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. I'll just, like, I, I know, I'll, be, I'll be curious that when you go to the polls, you know, you could probably get a, you can get a whiff of you know, try, a bunch of people were walking around in their MAGA hats and stuff. See how the election's going. That'd be interesting yeah. as well. I mean, uh, how do you, how are you so decided on one of these fucking candidates either? Like, how do you just be like, oh, I'm a Democrat, so I'm voting for whoever. Like, I could go to the v voting polls today, you know, if it was the election. And I still, you know, I, I might change my mind when I fucking get there. That's how indecided, undecided I am. Indecisive. Like, indecisive I am. Well, undecided because it's the same, I'm a, it's the same thing. Yeah. You're an undecided voter. Yeah, but I'm not indecisive when it comes to the. I'm just like it, <laughs> I just don't care. I just don't, just don't care. care. It's, it's, it's you feel it's, it's if voting mattered, they wouldn't let you do it. Well, why was that saying a saying? Because usually it's true. If a politician's uh, how do you know when a politician's lying? His mouth is moving. His lips are moving. It, they've known since the beginning of the country that these people, you know, are lying and deceitful and everything's fake. <laughs> well, do we, you know, it's like when you get there, do you just go? Do you just vote for that third party where your vote's completely useless or write somebody's name in that's completely useless? I, or do you I, vote and you just say, oh, well, I'm... If I vote for them, it's going to be useless. So I might as well vote for Trump because I don't like, because Biden's an old disabled man. I might as well vote for Trump because people, you know, they're, they're they're calling me something that I ain't, and that's, you know, that, that's a, 
I, I, or I might vote for somebody because um, my life, you know, my life was a little better four years ago. I didn't have all this inflation and gas price and insurance troubles and all this, you know, and, you know, and taxes going up. And I mean, I don't, you know, usually you don't vote for the guy in charge when all that happens. A little, immig- a little immig- right immigration, all this, all this spending on all these foreign the immigration. wars. Even Fuck people that, that hate that, that are Democrats, will still vote Democrat. You know, and they'll still vote vote for Joe Biden. I'm going to write in Dana White. Go do it. <laughs> might, might as well. And the Republicans have gone along with pretty much everything. So you're really, you know. Yeah, they've gone along with all you know, of it. It's a pretty much hopeless <laughs> scenario. <laughs> Let's talk about something different. We'll talk about that lady that, um, the crystal lady. She had been employed in the education field. (laughs) She's a teacher. She She loves children. She loves children. She loves children. She was working as a building substitute. I don't know what that means. A building substitute at Citizens Academy Glenville, an elementary school in Cleveland, Ohio, since November of 2022. She probably stays at one one school, you know. She's every day she's substituting in some class. I guess so. So she's that, and she's extremely hurt about everything that happened. I'm not trying to justify my actions, but nobody knew how much I was suffering and what I was going through. God and my daughter have forgiven me. Who told you that? She's a fucking nut job. Mm-hmm. She used to have to undergo a psychological evaluation to have children. She was suffering so much that she was able to travel and have a good time drinking. Yeah, and nobody understood the pain that yeah. she needed to de-stress yeah. while her daughter starved and, uh, and died of thirst I yeah. still, in her own feces. I still mm-hmm. haven't accidentally pulled out or... Oh, I was going to ask you about in that. <laughs> my, my bicep oh, here. yeah. Nice. <laughs> Watch out, Macy Davis. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that a lot. See if I can see if she gets back. It gets back to gets her. Back mm-hmm. to her. Coming, to you, coming for you. Coming for you. How long was hers? It was. Long. It was seven, seven. I think it was seven inches. But now, is and yours, yours? Is what? Can it's you tell if yours is still growing? Two and a half. I'm not seeing much growth. I would think it, they stop. You know. In some. You know, I don't know how stop. hair on your body knows when know. to stop. I don't know. Where's the ruler? Where's that Corona bottle? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what like um. How does it like your eye eyelashes and your eyebrows? And your eyebrows not only to grow a very tiny and the amount. hair on your arms and the, you know that doesn't. What tells it to stop? Keep, because yeah. it tells it to stop. Your eyebrows, if you shave them off, they'll grow back. Only, but it, only so much. Yeah. Well, is, it I, is it eyebrow DNA? You got DNA. Eyebrow DNA knows to only grow. So how's it know? If you took your eyebrows and. Transplanted the hair onto your head. <laughs> you have a whole head of eyebrow hair. <laughs> you would. It says here that this couple, this polyamorous Brazilian couple, polyamorous is mm-hmm. when you have sex. With, you don't even know what you are. You you just have sex with everything. Yeah, everything is good for sex. So that you know, so they're weirdos. <laughs> just a lunatic. I mean, it's, every- called, it's called mentally <laughs> unstable. But what do you mean everything? There's only. Well, One yeah, other well, yeah. two things you could have sex with, yeah. unless you're talking animals. No, it's just guys, girl on girls, girls on guys, guys on guys, okay. get everybody on everybody. Thought that was just by. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They've taken to uh, extreme training by training together at a public gym in the nude. They pay their gym to work out in the nude. Here's, it's like, you know, obviously, you know, they're influencers. And they have a huge following of people who want to see them do polyamorous sucking and effing. And this is because it's like, can you imagine anything that would be less of a... Uh, less more, attractive? Uh, less attractive <laughs> than watching your your naked partner work out. Yeah, I don't want to look and, at your butthole. <laughs> and, and yeah, I mean, they, 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 this is... Squatting over. It's like you you would have to have the... The body of a of a bodybuilder yeah. to even remotely not look hideous. The naked body does not look good working out. I mean, this is <laughs> obvious. They're wearing. Look at those feet. They got shoes on. You ever wore shoes naked? <laughs> you feel fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you like, do. It's the worst feeling in the world. I don't know why that is. Like that's that's probably the worst. Like you know, I'd rather my wife see me taking a poo than wearing shoes with no clothes on. 
Like it's the most <laughs> awkward thing. You gotta like, get that image out of your mind. <laughs> it's like I don't. I like I, we talked about this before. So I can't remember. But for some reason, there's been once or twice in my life where I've had shoes on. Is that the weirdo with the handlebar? Mustache? Yeah, the weird weirdo like with a handlebar. Weirdo. Lauren mustache. says her manager is polyamorous. It has an extreme foot fetish. Ew, get oh, away. Jesus. Anybody with a handlebar mustache. I think you know. You get the guillotine for your face tattoos and the handlebar mustache. <laughs> yeah. like we don't. There's no room for this in in society. And there's no room for people working out naked. The, 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 the couple times I've had my shoes on while naked, I'm just like, oh my god, what is this? Everybody's <laughs> done it, you know. I don't know why. It's only happened a few times in my life, but like it was very rememberable. Like I can still picture. Memorable. Like, memorable. Mem- what did I say? Memorable, not rememberable. Remember, whatever. <laughs> Technically, you're right. I guess. <laughs> But I mean, I can just still see like my the uh, it's like your peripherals really get the really get the shoes in them. <laughs> it's all you can see. All you can see is the <laughs> shoes. Rememberable is a word. I know it is. That's why I said it. Yeah. <laughs> Rememberable. That sounds stupid. Oh. Huh. <laughs> huh. It's, yeah. So yeah, rememberable. So there. So. You are correct as usual, Trace. Here's <laughs> here's something that'll 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 excite you about the American dream and uh, the the freedom we have in this country and the the everybody's got the same rights and the right to vote. Here's the new. Oh, let me get let me get this right. This is the new for the. This is for the race in Ohio's third dr- district. This can this candidate campaign campaigned entirely not in English, but in Somali. Oh, okay. so now we have people in con- going into Congress who will. <laughs> 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 you, you need to. You, you got to tell everybody silence, and you got to get it closer up. It's little, not Shark Week. A little closer up. <laughs> Uh, so Ismail Muhammad in a this is his vic, this is his victory party. Okay, so what do you see? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about you know legal immigration. I don't immigrants don't bother me. But when you start letting so many people into your country where you're electing people who don't have the same values or culture or or beliefs as you, I think you might have a problem. I don't think, you know, I think, I don't know if these people's, you know, you know, a lot of these people, look at these women, they've all got their heads covered because women are, you know, they can't even show their, their heads in public because they're less than a man. Is that the, is that the kind of uh, cultures you want? Oh, it Rep- looks popping. I'm going. It does, look, pop- it does look popping. <laughs> and what happens poppin'. when they start passing laws <laughs> that, you, that, that you don't get, come that, from their shithole country? Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe they, they, you have to wear your head scarf yeah. in America. In About town. 20 years, they your might town. make us wear them, <laughs> yeah. and I fucking... Yeah, man, that's I all mean, bad news, man. God. They're, too, they're intentionally ruining our country. I want, I don't know, we, we're going to have to start bringing in foreigners to keep the party alive. <laughs> that's, yeah, you, got, you got me on that one. <laughs> I mean, we we are losing the ability to party, you know? No, Everyone, mm-hmm. every single fucking young person I know. Now it's down to 100% yeah. of everybody, my brother, my sister, everybody they know, everybody I know, everybody everybody knows is like not, you know. Nobody even probably has parties anymore. There's not such thing as a party. I mean, you, you go to, you go, we go to some of these places and like. Everything closes at like fucking nine now because nobody in at by eight o'clock nobody's fucking there. And places that used to be open till you know twelve yeah. or one yeah. or two o'clock even in the morning are closing at ten because or nine or ten because nobody's fucking there. Like I don't nobody parties anymore and it's it's scaring me. I don't think we've. Was that you? No. <laughs> something out there. Something oh, okay. going on out there. Some animal doing something. I don't know if we've ever been invited to a party. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. Back in the day, we, we went to a few parties. Nobody has ain't, parties ain't at their houses. Nobody had parties or anymore. anymore. 
It's so weird. Zamboner subscribed for 50 months. Whoa, Thank deep, you, Zamboner. Deep, Zamboner. Did we get Emerson Johnson when he subscribed? Yes, Is yeah. that when I When he gifted stopped? the subs? No, but he also had subscribed. For, I can't remember. That was way back. It was probably deep 57 yeah. months. We might have gotten him already. We'll give him another one. Thank you, Emerson Johnson. Zamboner. Whoa! There you go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I guess it was the um it's social, all I can social media. Gaming, social media, COVID, all that stuff. Now no now nobody wants to do nothing. I think it was the whole Yeah. Is every direction that they're trying to take us in necessarily the best direction, you know? No. No, <laughs> no direction they're trying to take us in is the best direction. Just little things they do to try to change people and you know, it's like, I don't know if that's all for the best. Just like the whole, you know, the whole acknowledging suicide. And they say suicide's at its worst. Worse yeah. than ever. So yeah. so that's not helping. That's not helping. You know? And school shootings, everything. Things we're doing to try to prevent that stuff isn't helping. It only makes it worse, it seems. Every, all of it. The school shooting. Obsessing the, about mental illness yeah. m creates mental illness. Yeah. Nobody, ever, nobody once asked me about my mental health my entire life. And I was just fine. <laughs> you know? And I, I, I'm not saying that bully, you know, being bullied is good. But, you know, they, they really don't do much about it in school still. Yet they talk about it a lot. You know, oh, they talk a lot. They about talk it. a lot about <laughs> being bullied, and I, I, you know, I wouldn't want someone bullying my kid. I don't fucking kill those kids, you know, <laughs> but not, not literally. But um, I don't know. It seems to the whole don't do this, don't, don't be mean, don't say bad. You know, yeah, kids are kids, <laughs> and they say stupid things and then they grow up and they a lot of them you know realize that maybe they weren't that nice as kids and that you know yeah. maybe helps them grow i don't know about the one that got bullied i, think, but I don't think you have to cover really, your ass saying you'd kick the beat the kids up that picked on your kids at school that was 15 years ago okay <laughs> <laughs> well you never know f coot <laughs> says there was another hot air balloon that flew into power oh, lines Minnesota. So that's what Minnesota. they do and john sent me sent me the video actually Gosh, here's the video i gotta, <laughs> I gotta make a stand right now because i have because we've said it before and then i've been like well maybe if i was at a hot air balloon convention <clears> and no somebody way. really wanted me to go on one no i'd way. get on one i gotta write it and it's got to be written down. I will never get on a fucking hot air balloon. I got to make that promise to myself. I am Skydiving, maybe, probably not. Hot air balloon, death trap. Not doing it. Don't do it. You're going to get electrocuted. You don't know what jokers operate in your hot air balloon. That's the thing. Is I mean, I guess people, don't they, do they say that, you know, people that have done it for years still... Still fuck how do you up. Go, fuck how up. do you go in a balloon that has no way? You got to just rely on the wind. And that's the dumbest thing I ever fucking heard of, man. Like, just I, if I was on a hot air balloon, like I'd even bring just one of those fans you use to cool yourself off, just for like a little, you know. Why well, don't they got some type of way to give a, yeah. to propel Something them a little bit? Something just in case, like people take on a boat. Like they got a little trolling motor. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> no in case, just in case for parallel, uh, for um, hot air balloons. Hot air balloons. Wait, did, did you watch the one the other day that they land the hard landings? Yeah. yeah. I used to bring, that was when I had that five horsepower Johnson, I used to bring a spare, mo full blown spare motor on my boat when I went out. <laughs> The hard landings were pa a parachute. Well, he yeah. said about skydiving. Yeah, they, you know, I mean. Did one just, of them die? No. Or one of, they broke their one legs. One was or okay, something. and the other one broke their leg or something. Here's, yeah, here come the power lines. Can't get, here come the power lines. Nothing you can do about it. Here comes the hey, hey. You tell you're you're going. Hey, buddy, the power lines. I mean, like, I can't. I, I, if you're buddy, the I'm in a balloon. <laughs> buddy, the power lines. Yeah, but if you're only that. Oh, high, God. If you're only that <laughs> high up, uh, yeah. why wouldn't you jump out? Oh, you die. That's not. That's like 30, 40 feet in the that's air. That's like you're better than. Uh, it's like 50, 60 feet in the air. Right? They, I I think, think, uh, they're high up. I don't think they die. 
Oh. They didn't die? How do they not die? How'd they go up higher? Oh, shit. Whoa, shit. Where's, the, where's the basket? How did they not die? The basket had to fall, basket. right? Yeah, the basket gone, right? fell off. But so, but, I mean, that's pretty... The, okay, so... Oh, the, sure. Now you go up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's a long way to fall on a basket, man. Yeah. Ain't it? Maybe. I want to see the basket fall. I want to see. see if the basket falls. I don't think you can see the basket. I, don't, I can't see. I, I don't understand. I don't see and the basket. Up, up and away. Yeah, I never, it's hard to see. Is the basket on fire now? Is this, is, I don't know, the basket's somewhere over here, I would imagine, but it's too grainy. Looks like there's multiple fires. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like fires. Damn, and they lived? More fires. <laughs> I think they lived. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look it up. Man, look at all the oh, fires. <laughs> Man. Those, that's another thing. Those baskets are very flammable. Right? It's a basket. It's a whole <laughs> thing. Everything about the whole hot air balloon is fucking stupid. Like, I'm not going to blast flames into a canvas to fly. Like, they just... I guess the I guess the actual balloon part is very non-flammable. Yeah. But it just doesn't seem like a good idea. I ain't doing it. Nothing, don't, yeah, nothing about it appeals to me at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you get a great view. That's it. You get a great view. Tucson chick flew in one. I don't know. I'm not going to hate on you if you if you're flying one, but I ain't doing it. Uh, you I get, might I'm sure call some you people dumb. love it. Some people probably <laughs> love it. They probably can't get enough of flying in a hot air balloon. Yeah, no. Nah. I'll pass. It's not the way I want to go. Plummeting to earth. It's just too um, high up, out in the open. You know, you're just out in the open. It's like, You just oh. can't control, you know, you got the, I mean, do they, do you know the levels of like which way the air is going when you take off? Do they have those time? Do they have air balloon forecasts? I mean, these guys like, should be meteorologists, you this many right? Feet. Uh, maybe it's they like, do. I want you to be a meteoro- meteorologist <laughs> and know what's going on. Because they say the way you steer is higher up the wind's going this way and lower the wind's going that way. Do you know which way the winds are going before you go? Or you're just like, well, maybe if I go higher, I'll take a right. Maybe they do. Some of my favorite songs. I don't know where they find it because I never hear hot air balloon forecasts. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. And if you're going to be hot air ballooning this weekend, you have to call you the marine forecast. Call your mer- yeah. meteorologist or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're... I guess the first guy on the air, hot air balloon tells you. He went high and a guy named Skip on a hot air balloon white knuckle trip. We took off at the break of dawn. He still had his Mardi Gras beads on. I think our... Yeah, that's what I... I ain't trusting these guys. Pilot was impaired. Look out, power lies over there. Fireball, we all got fried on a big hot fucking air balloon. We'll die. I think that describes every hot air balloon accident <laughs> ever. Yes, it ever. does. It's crazy, terrible. Oh my, get out of the way, please. It's bursting into flames and all the folks between us. This is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. On a big hot air balloon. <laughs> Then we got a big surprise, plummeting straight down to earth. I brought some s'mores, let's have dessert. I just wanted a peaceful ride, but now I'm dying petrified. High voltage made us ignite on a big hot fucking air balloon. We'll die. It's a terrific place, ladies and gentlemen, and smoke and flames now. And the flame is rising to the ground. All the humanity, all the humanity. Sixteen people now deceased. Dropping like fucking concrete Smoking, choking, this thing's broken Life sucks when your balloon's not floating We went up in the atmosphere On a powder keg you cannot steer Should I jump or get burned alive On a big hot fucking air balloon will die I, I can't talk ladies and gentlemen Now we're all in body bags Fuck that damn hot air balloon I grabbed a scared woman, she looked pretty As we fell to earth, we had a quickie When we land, no souvenirs 
To find a tooth may be an ear. Fuck this damn hot air balloon. Oh, the humanity. I should have just stayed fucking home. Take a break. Right back, but right back with more cluster F. Thanks for tuning Which in. American masculine. Dynamic. Trace. Beautiful friend. It was another miserable day in the Vietnam heat. I was high on Chinese mescaline, which is American mescaline, diluted with the urine of Chinese dissidents. It'll blow your fucking mind. In this sturdy old part of the city. I wandered away from my platoon with into the jungle to get some shade. The sounds of the jungle were intense. I fell face down into the cool, wet jungle floor. I was immediately transported to another dimension where space and time didn't seem to exist. Only Chinese mescaline. I saw God. He was blowing a donkey. I fell into the abyss, falling faster and faster, only to be passed by several Acapulco cliff divers on peyote. Suddenly, I was blindsided by something massive. Oh, God. My eyes desperately tried oh, to tell my brain that it was a large tiger, weighing at least 800 pounds. But my brain said it was a wild mustang that needed to be broken. With cat-like quickness, that, looking back, was probably a result of the Chinese mescaline being cut with Cambodian cocaine. I ripped my shirt off and mounted the beast. I was instantaneously thrown off. I found myself lying on my back, face to face with a tiger in the dark recesses of the jungle. The tiger cried out. But it wasn't a cry of anger. It was a cry of pain. The tiger pointed down to his genitals. I went in for a closer examination. Oh, Lord. Turns out this tiger had a series of deep gashes on its sexual organs. I'd seen this before. Poachers hunting tigers for their penises. So Chinese men with small dicks can eat tiger penis soup and get imaginary bigger erections. I grabbed my medic by the neck, Siegfried and Roy's knife. I prepared to die and shit my pants in no particular order. Suddenly, the tiger dropped me. He then began chewing on the leaves of a small tree. He motioned to me with his snout to join him. I crawled over and started ravenously eating the leaves. I was about to trip balls with a man-eating tiger. I woke up three days later nearly mummified in a cocoon of tiger semen. The tiger was still out cold. I grabbed my bowie knife and gutted him with one stroke. I later traded a nearby village 300 pounds of tiger steaks for a three month supply of Chinese mescaline. I still have that tiger's penis too, frozen in the freezer like a popsicle. Sometimes I make my wife give it a couple licks. Come on. Are we still on? Let him. This is the end. Beautiful. Back to Cluster F. Don't forget to add in your hat tomorrow morning, 745. 
massive amounts of the most amazing parodies ever written in the history of the world. No hang this week. Matt was sick. No hang this week. We'll be back next week. You'll be craving the hang even more. Sometimes you need to be deprived to appreciate things. How do you feel about blimps? <laughs> really, really dislike blimps. It's one of my pet <laughs> peeves. No, I really... Uh, would you go up in a blimp? I would go up in a blimp before I would go up in a hot air balloon. Yeah. I've never... I mean, you don't hardly ever hear... Of, I mean, there's very few blimps. The Hindenburg you know, was uh, they, was back when they filled them, <laughs> filled them full of hydrogen. Yeah, there's not... There's no there's no blimps blowing up now. No, they like seem to do all right. Yeah, I mean they got like, you know, they can control them. Yeah, you can. You, you can, can land on you know, they, you, oh, you. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna land at a balloon. You just well, the, we're landing. You know, it's legal to land in people's backyards because we can't control where the balloon lands. Or the middle of a road. Or power lines. And I mean, she was looking up the blimp forecast or the the hot air <laughs> balloon <laughs> forecast. I mean. Ain't no way you can tell. No way. I mean, they can't tell the weather. I mean, the other, the other day we were going to Homosassa, and it went from like a hundred percent chance of rain all day to like zero percent chance all, all day, in like a like a like ten minutes. Like I checked the forecast, hundred percent yep. all day. Checked it like an hour later when we're almost there, zero zero percent chance. And it. It didn't rain all day, and then there was a light shower at night. I'll take a ride on a blimp. I might take a ride on a blimp. Not looking, not dying to, but no, (laughs) I could be talked into a blimp ride. (laughs) Donna says no way. There's not very many of them, is there? No, I don't think so. It's like the Goodyear blimp. There's a dozen, dozen blimps. Met life or whatever. I thought um, it was, go ahead. Ned's Navy says, "Does anyone know why there was no hang last night?" I believe Spice Boy was sick, right? Yeah, I, 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 you know, he uh, texted me Tuesday, said hanging tomorrow, and uh, then the Wednesday he was like, uh, "I woke up, <coughs> woke up sick, and I don't want to infect you." And I was like, "That's fine, I don't want to be infected, and uh, we'll do it next week." And no Jerry show today because you got to take Jerry's, your mom. Yeah, I got to go take my mom mm. to the doctor. And probably know Mike and Jerry show next week. No, He's got I didn't some even things. notice he wasn't here. I'm not to be mean. <laughs> I didn't mean <laughs> he sounded did, mean. You just, just forgot. You just he didn't know it was Thursday. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you, your deal is. Would you say no next week either? Yeah, he's yeah he's got stuff to do oh, next okay. week. So Dion's bath up says, "Can Ned do a diverticulous song tomorrow?" I gave him an idea. I don't know how, if you can make a whole song about diverticulitis interesting. No, you can't. <laughs> I can tell you right now. <laughs> it's true. I don't think you can. It's not enough. I don't even know what it is. You you could, had a better, hard time even explaining it. So you it couldn't with, make one, but maybe he could. Mm. I don't think he could because he couldn't even explain to us what it was. The inflamed pockets of my colon, I don't know. <laughs> That give you a dull pain. I don't know if that does. <laughs> yeah, so you can't make a whole song about <laughs> that. That's a, the song. 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 You just made it. I, I can make Dion's a bathtub. <laughs> I thought he said he gave you some ideas. He, he gave me like one line. Oh, <laughs> that's I, all there I is. I need forty-two more lines about <laughs> ulcer, ulcers in my colon. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. <laughs> Do you know the, the song's almost <laughs> done? Have you heard that's the right. new uh, Justin Tim- Timberlake song, <laughs> "Selfish." <laughs> Da, 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 da. I want everybody you. I guess I'm selfish. No, no is okay. it new? N- yeah, it's brand new. Who? <clears throat> Justin Timberlake. Oh, I don't think I've heard oh, that. God, you want to appreciate my parody song about your gout? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so wait a while on that one then. Did so, you do it? No, but I had oh. the I had the the. You know, like, I love shellfish. <laughs> I can't help it. Now I can't play with my kids. I guess I'm selfish. <laughs> 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 From shellfish. What uh, was that? One of the songs he sang on. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He sang a, uh, some kind of crappy songs. Uh, I really didn't really care for him. You, you heard about the Drake Bell stuff? You know, like allegedly Drake oh, Bell. Oh, hold was, on. Oh no! I'm about to move my oh, pants. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, imagine here and poop his pants. Again. <clears throat> Drake Bell. Can you imagine beat. the mess Trace would make cleaning up, pooping his pants. 
It'd be poop everywhere. You dried poop in here for, uh, for forever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a good cleaner. The Drake, the Drake Bell stuff. You know, he was uh, allegedly yeah, molested back on. Huh? Did he really shit his pants? <laughs> did he? Oh. I don't know. <coughs> kind of threw me for a loop. Trace shit his yeah. pants. Let's hope not. Uh, here's uh, like they, they've been saying like Josh Peck, the uh, the Drake and his his cohort in the Drake and Josh show. Is that was, him? Yeah, he's lost all his weight, and he's uh. They say he's like, you know, like th- this is his message to Drake Wait or a something. This what? is the one that was fat? Yeah, this is the fat guy. It doesn't even look like him. Uh-huh. He looks like the other guy. Nope. <clears throat> if I haven't talked to you since 2023, take that as a fucking sign that you don't exist to me anymore. Damn, you fucking bug. You got sprayed with the raid. Bye. See you in that burp. It's like, well, how old, how old, is, how old like is this that? guy? Is this guy on... Is he on crack? He just d- talk- He doesn't look like the fat guy. No. You know who that is, Trace? Mm-mm. That's Josh, right? Yep. From Drake and Josh. No, it's not. I can see it's a <laughs> fake thing. What if do you I mean? Talk to you? That's what he just said. He said what? it's... What? 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 It's, it's Josh. He, lo- he lost his weight a long time ago. Oh, jo- all right. I it's thought just, you were talking what? about the other guy. No. If I haven't talked to you since 2023, take that as a fucking sign that you don't exist to me anymore. Damn, you fucking bug. You got sprayed with the raid. Bye. See you in that burp. Why is he acting like that? Like a fucking 12-year-old girl? <laughs> I know. Who, 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 who it's talk, trying to be some joke or who something. Who talks like this? <laughs> I just had a sweaty butt crack, so I didn't poop my pants. Phew. <laughs> a moist Phew. butt crack. A moist butt crack. <laughs> That makes me want to throw up. Moist. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> Says Baron, Baron Trump is uh, about to celebrate his 18th birthday. That kid is so tall. He's like 6'7". Yeah. Really? He's like, he's, I mean, you know, he's ridiculously tall. <laughs> and boy, look at, look, at, tr- look at Trump, man. He's looking old. I mean, this guy's going to save the world. This mm-hmm. guy is... This guy's so out of gas. Man, he's <laughs> I, you know, it, his whole terms and like up until a couple months ago, he was holding it together pretty good. The last couple months, I've been like, oh, that guy's looking he's, a little. He's, he's, got, he's old. He's man. looking a little old. He's old. Because he's having, having to parade himself around all the time so much here, flying here and there and going everywhere for all his hearings and. Look at his arms. He's like, I'm over it. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. Melania's 52. She's getting up there. Oh, he's going to have to trade her in pretty yeah. soon. Yeah, maybe it's one of those deals where you made a deal with the devil. That's how the, the higher-ups work, and he's just yeah. like, oh, you know. He's like, I, I got to do it. I, I got to do it. You know, I told him when they made me a billionaire that I'd be president forever. Yeah. <laughs> I'd play their game till I die. Or <clears throat> they all have to play the game. Or he till loves they die, playing the game. Or he loves playing the game. Maybe that. Maybe never, they all he, love playing the and game. He'll never stop playing the fucking game. And then game. just playing the game, all you're doing is making more money for your family for when you're gone. So they're happy to, yeah, that enough, you're playing man. the game. Some, I mean, you know, I'd have enough. He, he, you know. Maybe walking into an arena of 40,000 people <clears throat> chanting your name and idolizing you is a pretty big high that you can't give up. That's a pretty big high. Yeah. Trace, 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 Trace. And to people to just like, Trace, <laughs> walking up to you like you're a god. <laughs> That's a powerful drug. Like I said, um. Keep an eye on Europe because Europe's ten years ahead of us, and this is a this is a guy in Sweden. And you don't think if you know Sweden is having an immigration problem, but they they let in a ton of people from uh, Africa and, and the, the Middle East. And this guy's going to tell you tell you about what it's it. like. He's going to tell you about it. 
Nej, men alltså min son har blivit rånad. Uh, I'll send another one. I gotta translate. He said my son's been robbed three times. Tre gånger. Två gånger utav somalier och en. Twice by Somalis, once by Arabs. Gång ifrån araber. Uh, och han är 19 år. Och han he's, är ju he's 19, mer eller mindre. He's scarred for life. He doesn't go out alone anymore. Det är märk för livet. Han vågar inte gå ut själv. En annan gick ut i Göteborg och när man var i, i den. There were no problems in Gothenburg when I was his age. Gothenburg, Sweden. Men det var ju inga problem. Idag är det ju fruktansvärt. Today it's horrible. Hade haft en dotter där förmodligen If I, if I had a daughter, I would follow her with a loaded shotgun. <coughs> so this is Sweden. I had a hoggle bus and I followed her for about 10 meters back. You might need to follow your son with one. So, it's absurd. This immigration is ruthless to the Swedish people. They've betrayed our country. Um, no, no. The, also, this immigration is ruthless. Sound familiar? Yeah. That's Sound familiar? Idea. So all um, politicians being in on it, sh- that... You know, is awful. That just shows you that they're all in on it. In every on. leader every country, of every, every country. country, they've already got it all sewn up. They're, you know, exactly. They know what they do. They do exactly the same thing around the whole world. So what's and it? every country's mm. fucked because of probably us. We probably we're started in, the whole, yeah, we're in on it. <clears throat> the whole thing of getting everybody in on the yeah. every everything in the whole world totalt hänsynslöst the immigration is ruthless to the swedish people they betray our country svenska folket de har förrott vårt land jag är 60 talist i was born in the 60s i know what it was like growing up in the 70s and 80s jag vet hur det var att växa upp på 70 80 talet tittar idag i see today is unbelievable my old suburbs they're off limits now angered det går inte att gå där det är helt otroligt it's unbelievable Oh, I can't find words that express my disgust with this government. And that's Somalia, and, that, and this is the stuff that's happening, uh, you know, in, in America now. It's happening in America. What it's uh, they ruined the, they they've ruined their country. Ask John Cleese about England. They've ruined London. They've ruined you know they've ruined their these countries, and they're ten years ahead of us. Or maybe five. Five. Maybe Since only, ten years maybe ahead only five. Of us. I do. They because it, it happened. This is exactly what happened. But they've this has happened for a long time in Europe. This has happened for for ten years. They've let these migrants in, mm-hmm. and now you're seeing my like in like the prime minister of England. You know, yeah. The, the uh, I, Ireland. You're seeing you know people in the Irish you know government who are uh, in foreign countries, and all they care about is their own people. In your country. Yeah. And that's all bad. <laughs> Ma'am, what is it? Have you have you seen the Nickelodeon deal? Yeah. About, the documentary? No, but I've heard about it. I've seen clips of it. Man, that day that was pretty you've gotta watch it. I mean you've got just because to see who it reminds these one of the guys oh. reminds you of I mean oh, it is just I like I bet. And you know, it was I was torn. I was torn for the first, you know, like episode three. It gets into like this one guy who's got you know ten thousand pictures of nude kids, yeah, and you know the you know th- supposedly this guy you know sticking things up Drake's, doing all this stuff <laughs> you know sodomizing Drake constantly, and you know. Have him, he was at his house like all the time, and he's sexually abusing supposedly, you know, this kid. But the first two episodes, it, it was like you know, wasn't that bad. Like, like he, the I stuff was, wasn't that. The bad. stuff wasn't that yeah. bad, and it took me a while. I was like, well, that's kind of what you signed up for, and I was kind of going, you know, yeah. it felt exactly like. And then at the end, I was like, well, they went through exactly what I went through, but I was like, but I don't think you should have to go through what I went through, especially as a kid. As a kid, because so you, you, know, you did it, you know, willingly. Yeah, because it was very similar, you know, to that whole situation. Yeah, we were groomed. I mean, <laughs> we got groomed. The weirdest thing, you know, was like the guy would do it to the guys and girls, and it was just like a control thing. And just like, hmm. I was like, man, that's he's got the same disease my old boss had. So, this was all true. So, Josh was getting sodomized. Well, there was like the one guy that was, I th- you know, Drake, got a little bit, Drake. it was got a little bit confusing. I was a little confused. I'll have to watch it again or something. But like, with the one guy. 
who was doing real creepy and weird, wasn't doing like the main things. Yeah. But like there was another guy that was like a pe- real pedo- real pedophile that had 10,000 pictures of kids. And it's like 10,000 pictures of like how do you where do you acquire that many like are you just taking five a day for 10 years? Like what It's it happens a lot when you'll see somebody arrested for that, you know, they'll have, you know, 5,000 images on their phone. It's like, I guess you, you're in, it's just insatiable. Insane. insatiable not to mention, design. how crazy are you? Are you not even concerned about getting caught? You know, you think you'd go back, I got to delete about, you know, <laughs> you think 9,700 of those. That's just insane that you're not even worried about getting caught. It was definitely one of those documentaries where, you know, like two hours in, you're like, all right. Fucking let's speed this shit up, you know? Like, it's one of those sl- <laughs> yeah. slow, like, and then you gotta watch the next episode to get, get, you know. It used to be you could have a nice 90 minute documentary and you didn't have to watch 10 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want 10, I, we lose interest. Is that on Netflix? Should, yeah. I mean, you could watch the first almost hour and a half of it and, and turn it. it off and be like, well, you know. I don't think that what they went through was bad because it takes them an hour and a half to get to just to even get to meet any of these guys are really doing something bad. Was the guy, the fat guy, was he the bad guy or he was the medium bad guy? I I forget. Yeah. I think he was the, they're both, I think kind of fat. Mm -hmm. Dan guy, the, I don't know. Yeah. It was, he was the main guy. I think he was the main raper guy. Are they in jail? These guys? I, I didn't watch are. all of it, but it looked like they were. You know, the one guy got caught and he was sentenced to like three years. And it's like, man, I mean, I don't think I. I think I just saw an interview with the, one of the guys, and he was like apologizing for everything he did. I think it was with Shannon Sharp, and so he's not. I don't think he's in jail or Damn. nothing. He he just you know I did some you know things I would never do now, and I'm so ashamed of and all this stuff, but, but nothing criminal. Yeah, these parents are insane too, man. I don't. They had his dad. They had on there, and he kind of said, you know, he kind of thought it was a little weird, but you know, he he was willing to, you know, let it go on a little more. I think just you know because they're making money off yeah. this kid, so I didn't like him that much. And then his mom, for some reason, got custody of him and didn't care, didn't notice at all. Supposedly that this guy was being weird. And then he, Drake got a girlfriend, and he said, the first time I went over to my girlfriend's house, her mom was able to sniff th- this out within <laughs> two minutes of me being at her house that this guy was weird. Was the guy with her? No. With he, he was te- he was blowing, not, unstop calling his phone. Oh, uh, okay. And, be, you know, yelling at him over <clears throat> the phone, doing, <clears throat> you know. Like, if you were like uh, 10, 11 years old, Trace... You're on the set of, you know, some Nickelodeon thing. Do you think you would have uh, been susceptible to that or you would have been or they wouldn't even go after kids like you because you're like, this kid couldn't tell me to fuck off. I don't know. (laughs) I don't think, you know, it was very, you know, it felt very my old job like, you know, like it's easy to be. convinced to do stuff when you feel like it's kind of your job to do these things when it's really not your job to do it gets sucked into everything's normal you know it's like well it's not as absurd as the things that happened (laughs) last week you just get used to it It says here beyonce reflects on not being welcomed to the country music welcomed by country music fans ahead of her act two album release i feel like like she just did that because she's like i'm gonna you know, I'm yeah. so popular. I'm gonna make a country song and that's see what, what it yeah. Is. It's like I, I don't. I've never liked her. I never. Mm-hmm. She always seemed like you know, sort of a real divas. You know, and I never liked her voice. I think she caterwauls and oversings. I never liked um, Jay Z either. I ne- I ne- I wasn't a f- not a fan of any of his. No, not at all. I don't think. I think he's a terrible rapper. He's a mush mouth, and he sounds like he's he's like he can't catch his breath in all the songs. I can't even tolerate me listening to him. So I don't like Beyonce, and I don't like Jay Z. I like plenty of other rappers. It has nothing to do with nothing other than I think they look like a couple of fucking overblown assholes. 
I liked Andre 3000 until what? He put out, you know, he was up there in my top, top couple rappers, in my opinion. And then I saw. What did he do? He played like flute music. It fl- it's, like he he didn't learn, it's like he didn't learn how to play the flute. Yeah. And he did a whole album of him not knowing how to play the flute. <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah. There's plenty of rappers and and singers I like, but I I never c- could tolerate Beyonce. And so I was like, I listened to that Texas Hold'em because I was thinking, well, you know, if it's really super popular, maybe I need to parry it. And I was like, parry it, and I couldn't get through like thirty. I was like, ah, oh, fuck this. I don't listen to this shit. <laughs> it sucks ass. It does. I mean, and just like you know, I think you told me, and I think we looked it up when I t- told it to Lauren. But I think she likes, you know, her ice cubes carving into like circles. They gotta be, yeah. Uh, gotta be a. She brings her own toilet seat. Bring her own toilet. The bathroom has to be painted a certain, you know, it's like one of those diva bullshit things. It's like just after hearing that, and then yeah, hearing this country. Here. Lauren played the country song, mm-hmm. and it was like talking about going to the dive bar, and it just infuriated me. Mm-hmm. I was like, I just. You, you, you're gonna bring your own toilet to the dive bar? Like, yeah. What the fuck? She would never go. She's talking about bar. drinking whiskey out of red cups. You know, it's like she ain't fucking. This is so. That's. It's so. It was so and then fake. Then she'll just say it it's so fake. Yeah, it's all. Um, it's nauseating. I mean, have you ever been in a dive bar bathroom? It's not like, pretty. I don't it's think. I don't think she would step foot in a dive bar, much less the bathroom. Are you playing it? No, I'm not oh, going to play your stupid, stupid ass some. song. No, I don't want to hear it again. <laughs> I'm uh, sucked ass. Here's a, I guess Kyle Rittenhouse was, uh, you know, appearing at some college speaking or something. Mm. And here's the uh, protesters waiting for him to, to get out of there so they can uh, harass him. Oh, you think, well, he would go out, he would have a... Um, Security? Security. Well, I don't. Oh, I, he might. Okay, he might. Right? He might have security. Yeah. I'm just saying. But this is the mob, and <laughs> it's like this is a guy who was uh, uh, found not guilty, not guilty in a court of law with video evidence. Yeah. But this is an example of how half the population they see what they want to see, and they're shown what they want to see. Yeah. So they've never heard, never heard anything about other than Kyle Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse is a murderer. Yeah. When if you watch the videos. He was being attacked by every single person who who he shot. You know, yeah. they, they, they were trying to. They were, you know, Lord knows what. You know, when somebody's attacking you in the streets and you got a gun, you know, a, a jury will find you innocent, and they did. And here's the, here's the, here's a bunch of Kyle Rittenhouse uh, protesters. N- n- protesters. They, got, they, they don't even know anything about. This <laughs> shit. Yeah, you go out and question some of these people. They didn't know shit. And there, there's a lot more, you know, pressing issues. But you're gonna boo this guy, this teenager who was uh, tried for murder and acquitted. What are they doing? But he must he must have just left the building or something. This kind of hatred, this kind of this kind of hatred, should be reserved for child molesters. Right? Well, come on, what man. What the fuck are you talking I'm about? I'm over it, man. We're so fucked in the head. There's no nobody out there when somebody rapes a child doing this shit. No. Nope. And they're gonna do it for this guy. I mean, who this gives a all, fuck? This is and all for just, They all just think it's all cool and putting it on their social cool. media. Well, they, that's you know, all that's become. These kids yeah. don't know nothing yeah. about nothing. That girl that I saw on Joe Rogan. What was her face? That blonde girl that was like a, you know... Riley Gaines. Yeah. Who swimmer. You know, I think that was her that was given a speech, or it might have been somebody yeah, else, but they got... Her. It was her, it was her, and these protesters came and like... Attacked t- her. T- yeah, yeah, like attacked her, and the attacked cops her. wouldn't do anything, because they're like, wh- they can't, they're not, they're ma- changing the laws to where you can't like do stuff against... I don't know if they're changing the <laughs> laws, but there's like some gimmick to where the cops aren't supposed to do anything. You know, since when does that happen? Yeah, like, that, what is, what is going on? Yeah, these you know, there need to be more ass whippings in America. People like this need their asses whipped. Uh, 
Somebody's got a vuvuzela. <laughs> I can't read that. That's a sign, so... God. Look, look how violent and work they are I up just, there are about what? They don't know. D they don't know what they're worked up about. A I, lot more people were killed in the Black Lives Matter riots that were innocent people yeah. than Kyle Rittenhouse killed. And, he, and coincidentally, the people he killed, like uh, at least one of them was a pedophile. <laughs> You know, the, they were all we they, were all, that, they were all dirt bags. Yeah. The three people who killed were all dirt bags too. And they're this is what these people are worked about. I, about. You know, but I get you could is lost completely. You know, I get how you could maybe look at that situation and be like, you know, he shouldn't have been out in the streets with a gun. Mm -hmm. You know, I can kind of take their side on that a little bit. Yeah. But to care, <laughs> to, but to do anything to see like, yeah, I think kind of that guy might have killed some people. Other than to go out and, and be he, like, call this guy a murderer when it's kind of like a... Fuck you! Fuck you! Get the fuck go, out of here! Could go either way. But we got a nation of snowflake posers. You and know, we gotta, pre a bunch we of gotta pretend that these people really care about issues or something when mm -hmm. really all they care about it's is social media. And themselves. And themselves. Yep. They care about getting a selfie of themselves at something. Yeah, it's all, it's they, all it is. It's all they I mean, really I care about. I was thinking Fetish. about how they're getting, you know, this stupid stuff, you know, being br brainwashed it from TikTok that you should be angry about this because your algorithm will go to everybody feels like this and all your videos will start. But they also want to be out there with their phone going, mm -hmm. videotaping themselves going, murderer! Yeah. Murderer! <laughs> exactly. See how many? See, so okay, see, so let, let's look at it. Let's look at just look for because you can hear those people scream and stuff. They're the ones that are doing that. They're probably videotaping yep. themselves. There's just so like many, everybody's said. just running around with cameras. Let's video. look at the phones. Oh, let's give me the gimmick. Yeah, I saw them all before. Everybody with their phone out. Everybody with their phone out. It's all about me. I mean, you get a stampede of angry people, and then a stampede of. People just filming the angry people. It turns into a whole ordeal. It turns into a whole deal. All right, let's end on end on something, something not serious. I, I, they always put these up on uh, on Twitter. What is it? It says her. He's not. Res this is like a text from her. Or so it says her. He's not responding to my text. He's probably cheating on me. And then him. And it's usually guys doing stupid stuff <laughs> like this. Good shot, right <laughs> So they got a whole course set up. So it's a dog leg left. You hit it onto the carpet, and then, then you got to hit it down to the green, which is downstairs. And it's like, I would so be doing this. I yeah. couldn't figure I out so what was on the end of that stick. It's a it's, little mini golfer. <laughs> it's a weird like putter thing, but at the end, it's a mini golfer. And a he's guy got hitting. A, and he's got a little golf club, and he's hitting a little tiny golf, <laughs> club, a golf ball. This is crucial. Part four. <laughs> <laughs> it's crucial. It's part four. <laughs> the Masters is on the line. <laughs> good shot, good line. Oh! That's, a, nice, that's a nice shot right there. I mean, yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> they got, look at that nice, they got a water hazard. <laughs> they got a nice course set up. The championship. Let's go see what, what kind of see what kind of touch he's got. The last time I seen this was 1998. <laughs> the woods. Is there a hole or is it it's just? And he does it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's oh man, I, I would so to come up with that. I mean, that's all I did when I was like a teenager. I mean, up with did he come up brother. with this game or like what? Did he hand make this golfer know. guy or is, it, is this <laughs> is something you can buy? I, I think he made. Can, I think you can buy this for yeah. sure. And then he made up, you know, made up his own little course and his own little game at his house. 
like I see I, the other day I saw a guy with a, you know like a wiffle ball stadium in his backyard and it's like I've always wanted a wiffle ball stadium <laughs> in my backyard. <laughs> if I was like a, one of them super rich guys, that's what I would spend my money on. A wiffle ball stadium in my, and I'd have a Like a big stadium, like a whole like No, like it would be you know, but you have to mini, have some a mini space stadium. to hit a ball. Yeah, it'd be a mini You're still stadium. kind of an asshole when you got a wiffle ball stadium. <laughs> <right now. laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you spend your money on. It's good, clean fun. All righty. All righty. I'm exhausted. Good no sh- Jerry good, show today. No Jerry show today. Good show, guys, though. Good show. Uh, no hang. No hang on. No platforms. No hang at all. No hang this week. Hang will be back uh, Whisper next week. Whisper or Facebook us on your, whether you want your name to remain on the name. wall. It's $100 to re-up. Oh, not agree. And man. if you want your name to stay. Most I mean, people, I think, want their name to stay where it is. I don't, I haven't really had anyone ask to yeah. be moved. So. so. <clears throat> yeah so so but you oh, yeah you repaint it you just repaint it in a, in a different manner so it's new and it's yeah. different yeah and yeah. some of the names will be coming off so so sorry about have, your luck you know there will be you know, some other some free spaces well, this is like a taco we stand it, we gotta Navy. sell tacos and if you ain't Kim you know, if we don't sell enough tacos yeah, I mean, the taco stand closes this is your livelihood livelihood <laughs> livelihood uh, hint, hint, Ned in your head tomorrow morning, 745. Mm-hmm. Ned, you know, Ned's usually the breadwinner. And so let's uh, let Ned, Ned take home some bread and keep the show going. Yep. Uh, have a great, a great weekend. Hope to see you tomorrow, Ned in your head, 745. And the hang will be back next week. And uh, we will see you later. See Thanks. You. Thanks for tuning in.